do you want me to start or do you want to start? It's up to you. Uh, you can start and I'll just jump in. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> Okay, so 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 my argument, okay, you know, against horse racing. Um, so first off, um, you know, horses, like any other animal, they're a, they're a sentient living being. You know, in the same way that we cats and dogs, and even ourselves, um, we can experience pain, we can experience um, suffer, you know, suffering, we can also experience joy. Um, so we have to take that into account at first. Horses, you know, are, are not on this planet for us to use they're here for their own reasons the same way as as we are so subjugating them into a life where they are forced to do something for for us is in, in itself immoral to do in the same way that you know capturing a it's weird it seems capturing something like a platypus and getting it to do something for us would, would be yeah. equally as immoral because they are not here for us i mean they have no requirement for us to to ride them or race them at all they're quite happy getting on with their own lives and when we do put them into those racing situations we do put them into a situation of risk um so um just to give you some stats that, that i've managed to look at so in the last 13 and a half years since 2007 in the uk we've had uh, 2056 deaths on courses that yeah. we are aware of um, which is about 153 deaths per year. In Newton Abbott, which is obviously where our local yeah. group concentrate on, um, there's been 53 deaths since 2007, which works out about four per year. Uh, and then obviously that's only looking at the deaths that are on the course. When we actually look at um, deaths outside, so for example, you know, um, horses that are not ready to race, that, um, you know, that they're not financially viable to to, to continue with um i've got some statistics here so we've got uh let me just get the ones up here so um yeah according to the uh, bbc article here we've got a quote from jerry watkins of horse well he's the welfare manager there um he's saying around 70 percent of retired british racehorses are slaughtered and then sold to the european market uh the independent um, said they've established more than 1,100 horses were slaughtered in abattoirs in Britain in 2011. When we look at other countries, um, for example, uh, like Australia, um, they're estimating that around... Um, well, basically, the actual racing industry in Australia was saying they only kill about 34 horses a year, but then uh, an independent review found there was about 220 were being killed just in one week at one abattoir. Uh, in the US, they're looking at around 100,000. And according to a Guardian um, article here, actually, they actually estimate that in the UK, it's actually closer to six to 10,000 per year. So we're looking at a, a vast amount of animals losing their lives here, basically for, a, yeah. basically for something that is entertainment. Um, it serves no purpose to the horse as such it's it's for human entertainment it's for a, a tradition and it's to to make money so with all that in mind um you know my i guess to sum it all up you know animals are here for their own reasons we shouldn't subjugate them into something that is going to put them in danger or even be taking control of their lives at all and obviously from this we are causing a massive amount of death to these animals for something that is unnecessary so i'll pass that back to you and you can yeah. obviously hit me back with any let's go through a few stats first yeah sure um 99.58 um, of horses complete their races without no long-term injury given to them okay fatality rates 0.18 runners or runners that's out of nine over ninety thousand runners that is that that is decreased from last 20 years there are in jumps racing, it's 0 0.39 per amount of runners they have to have, which is around about, I think, about eight or 9,000. Again, that's decreased. That's come down. Um, the fall rate in jump racing has come down again from 2 point to 2.43% of runners. Now, understand the situation about slaughter and horse. Now, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm the first person to be realistic, right? I'm not saying every single person in the horse racing industry are good people. There'll always be bad people in every single organization, even animal rights organization. But the vast majority do the right thing with their horses. Now the slaughter figures 
are completely false. And I'll tell you why. If six to 10,000 horses were slaughtered every year, as one of these said there, there'll be no horses left to breed at all. On your, on Devon Animal Watch, um, sorry, Devon Against Horse Racing, yep. the person who commented on there said that 95% or more horses go to slaughter. 95%, say, say the, the fold take was, Matt Foles of born in the industry was 14,000. 14, That'll be well over 13,000 racehorses going to slaughter. In my view, and looking at the figures there, that will mean no horses will be alive in two or three years' time. Right. That is, that is completely false. Okay. And, that's where the, and that's where the myth comes, right? Now, if you look up how racing has, has moved forward, now, I'm not saying, you know, 20 or 30 years different to now, you know, different people, people have different views, different values. Racing runs the, uh, the ROR, Retrain of Racehorses, where last year at Aintree Racecourse, they held a competition where over 300 ex-racehorses competed in dressage, show jumping, okay, um, show horsing, everything. It's on their website and go look at it. Yeah. Right, okay. They are registered, they're nearly registered, nearly 10,000 racehorses on their website that, comp that competed in the last few years in their, in their competitions. Yeah. Right. So I understand you know, I don't want to see horse go slaughter, right? The vast majority of, of people in racing don't want to see horse go slaughter, right? And I, I, you know, racing understands that, you know, times times do change, people's views do change, but I think racing has stepped up to the plate. The, the figures I showed you there earlier about racing, they've, de they've decreased, meaning that they're getting better. Racing doesn't sit still, like they're doing a project now, on horses' vision, how how horses view colour. So if you notice on on some of the fence and the hurdles got orange on on, on, the, on the boards, right. then now we're searching that to see if horse can see uh, other colours better. So the horse can see the fences fences a lot lot easier, and the hurdles. The, at at Newton Abbotts, they introduced some new padded hurdles, which were which are all padded apart from the stakes, which are, are very thick padded around. The stakes basically hold the hurdle into the ground, and the rest is padded. Now, that is to stop horses getting superficial injuries from hitting a hurdle, right? Okay, and that has again, again decreased the number of falls in those races. Yep. Now, I'm not saying everything in horse racing is black and white and perfect, but we have to be realistic in, 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 in a realistic world how, how we view things. Now, if we get rid of racing, now, now I know we have, uh, we had a, we had a, I call a set two, we yep. have, we'll come back to that. If you go racing, these horses do not have ever living. Um, you said you called um, ever loving homes. They live in stables where these horses are. The, the owners of these horses are paid the trainer to look after. If that trainer goes bust or can't, you know, get income from having horse racing, having horses racing there, those horses will not be able to stay in the stables. Then the owners got to wander around trying to find homes for them. Now, if you look very carefully and you know. I agree. You know, I agree with some of your some of your points. I do agree. Sometimes we we overbreed horses, right? Not just race horses, race horses generally. Uh, sorry, um, horses generally. Uh, I think sometimes we do we go over limits. But the vast majority of people in racing are good people who love the horses. A lot of stable lads and lasses have many retired race horses. I did a Facebook post. I'll share it with you some sometime after this interview. Yeah, sure. Uh, or conversation, whatever you want to call it, where the people were putting photographs of the photographs, of photographs of their horses, who, who, who they, who, where their horses retired, and they're living happy lives. That's what that's what racing got. No, racing don't do don't do enough of that, and that's where I think the perception of thinking that all horses or vast majority of horses go to slaughter is is not is not true. I'm not saying no horse goes to slaughter. Don't get me wrong. There are always bad people in, in, every, in every, every industry, even the bad people in the animal rights industry. And, and you've got to admit that. It's not yeah. well, everyone's a saint. Yeah. But I think we've got to look, look, look in perceptive how, how we view things too. Okay, well, there's, there's a few things I would push back on there. So um, first off, the, the, we, we can say that the stats have improved, but the ultimate thing is that horses are still dying 
just in less numbers. And it's it's where where do you draw the line? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, one horse death is is too many because it's a situation that they shouldn't have been placed in in the first place. Um, you know, th these animals should never have been trained and put into a racing scenario. So as far as I'm concerned, even if only one horse died, then that's that's one too much. I would go as far to say as even if no horses died, we are still entering them into a situation where these animals are, they're not racing because they consent to race, they race because they are trained to race. You know, a, a, a horse, you know, as you know, you know, from... Uh, from birth, you have to train this horse to first allow you to ride the horse. And originally, it won't just let you hop. You know, I mean, some are chilled out. I'm sure they might let you hop on the back or something. But generally, a horse, you know, doesn't want people on on their back like any other animal wouldn't. So, even if, even if horse racing was done at its most ethical, so to speak, um, it would still be um, uh, unethical. Um, so, push back on what you were saying about the horse racing ending and obviously i know we had a bit of back and forth about you know what would happen to the horses and stuff <laughs> like that okay which is fair enough um and I, I will also address this thing you said about the you know the, the a statistic about what the um devil gates horse racing said as well um so what we've got to realize if, is, is if horse racing did finish it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight it, it just won't um because you know, people people are invested. It is people's livelihoods. The government would never just drop it in a click and let everybody just, you know, be like, right, you're not going to do it. It would be done over, you know, over time, which would probably involve the stopping of breeding the horses initially, so that we wouldn't have so many um, extra to, to care for, and then over a number of years, those numbers would become less and less and less, allowing people to, you know move on a, a, and get other jobs and also hopefully care for the horses that are there. And that would be the same with, with any industry. And I know I brought up before, for example, you know, bullfighting, and you, you didn't obviously like the comparison, but the comparison wasn't necessarily saying that they were accurate because, of course, they're not. They're, you know, yeah. with bullfighting, the, the intent is to kill the horse. And we understand with horse racing, that is obviously not the case. They don't want the horse to die, obviously. But, mm. but, but what, where the comparison Comparison is, is in its similarities in, in that they are events that are based in the exploitation of an animal. They are there based in tradition. They are there based around making money so, uh, um, and are both, in, obviously, in, in my view, um, are unethical. So it's the kind of thing that we would never say that we shouldn't end the bullfighting industry because it would, people would lose money. I'm sure even you, yourself would argue bullfighting should finish. But again, it, like horse racing, it will probably be something that will slowly phase out so that these people can get jobs, the animals mm. can be looked after that are still around. I mean, with bullfighting, I don't know whether they'd probably just kill them all, to be fair. Um, but you can see what I mean. It would be something go o over time. Now, to address the 95%, um, I personally could not verify that either. So, you know, and this is not my statistic. Um, I can completely concede that that could be a false statistic. I've got no issues with that. Um, but like I said, like even if that statistic was 0.01, to me, that is still too many. Um, when we have the option to allow these horses to just live a life and not be put into a position of danger, then I think that it is unnecessary. And any deaths, uh, personally, it, it is a tragedy. So I'll pass that back to you anyway. Yes. Yeah. Well... Let's take that last point there, pushes the danger. A lot, most horses get injured in paddocks. Well, actually, day. no, I can push back on that one straight away. Wait, so, so that is actually from a study that was done by the... Horse oh, Trust? I can't remember. It's one of the British Horse Association or, or something like yeah. that. I'm not sure exactly. That um, I've seen that study referenced a few times. That study is actually just in reference to riding. If There's actually a paragraph in there that actually does state that yeah. um, racing actually increases the risk, um, which a lot of people seem Increase. to miss out. Yeah, and, and, that, that is, and, and that is beyond uh, what is just in the paddock. It's not just... No, no, no. It means increase the risk of, 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 of a horse being ridden, not increase the risk from paddock injuries. Right. Can, That's the difference. Can, uh, can you link me the study? Do you have uh, the study uh, to hand? Because from what I understood uh, on the study, that it was. If, that no, was if I'm case. wrong, I'll, I'll link. I think I showed it to you. 
Yeah, I, I was trying to I was trying to find it, but I couldn't remember who who did it, so I, I couldn't get it yeah. up in time. Um, but what I would say as well is um, a lot of the reasons that they're getting injured in the paddock as well is not necessarily because they're in danger. A lot of it, from what I understand, was actually due to do with introductions to other horses. It was actually to do with horse and horse rather than just general injury from just being in a paddock and just running yeah. around and, and, and being themselves, if that's what well, I understand. Well, I'm sure well, this be on, this be put on Facebook and Twitter kind of thing. Yeah. And people could, the horse can, can, can interact and see, see yeah, how the horse got injured or did the horse from the horses or is it from just playing around the paddock or, or vice versa. Yeah, of course. Um, with, with racehorses, in their DNA is, is to race, right? Oh, well, this now, is the thing. You say in their DNA, they're to race, but that isn't factual. No, no animal in there. I mean, you could say that they, in their DNA to run as a herd animal. I would agree with that. If that's what you're trying to, is that what you're trying to say? They, they're well, herd animals? They're thoroughbred racehorses. So yeah, but, but, it, it, but it doesn't it, mean that it's within their DNA. It's within their conditioning when they are brought up and trained. But it's not it, a, a racehorse just born into a environment where there was no racing would never no to race because it wouldn't have ever been introduced to racing right well we've we've, we've race horses i said before he said that horses don't I'll put this i put this way to you right do horses have a choice um yes right when do they have a choice they well they they have a choice at any point but like with humans um that choice can be manipulated and we can be conditioned into doing things that aren't necessarily um, are what we want to do. I mean, for example, if you brought up a child in a way that you made it do something all and all the time, that child just doesn't know any better. Well, um, so compare, we wouldn't. So it, it's free choice has kind of been conditioned out of it. Comparing a child to a half a ton of horse who doesn't speak back to you is. Well, a, chi think, well, well, a, a child can't speak back to you, and a horse can't speak back to you. Well, so. a child of three or four years old or five years old can 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 indicate to you what's wrong with them oh well, it depends horses, horse, ho horses like like that horse that you know, abbott who refused to race now yeah. jockey didn't the jockey didn't, didn't stop the horse running the starter didn't stop the horse running the horse made a choice no thank you i don't want to do it and that happens quite a lot of times on race courses oh yeah, and yeah. Where, and, 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 and this is where people get this false narrative that horses are forced to race yes you train a horse to do something but tell you what, when we get to the race course, I've seen horses refuse to ju jump off, re refuse to jump, okay? Uh, buck the jockeys off, right? Mm. They Horses aren't, aren't dumb animals. They're very intelligent animals. They are, now, but, but, but you would have, but you'd have to agree that a horse isn't intelligent enough to know the actual risk that they're putting themselves into when it comes to a racing situation. They have, well, no, they have no concept of that. Well, I would, I would disagree with that. It's like the Grand National. Right, some horses go to the Grand National, win a race, come second or third, go back the following year, they refuse to race. Now they don't race in that course once a year. Right? They know the knowledge, right? This is a race course, I've done, done it here, I'm not gonna do it again. And that's why horses have different form levels, different um likings to different race courses. But this is the thing, you that, they had a good moment there, or but, they or think. But the thing is you can't prove that that's their thought process. It could be for any reason. They might just not wanna not want to race they might have no concept of the fact that's the same course we don't know what the actual situation with it is but what we do know is that those horses naturally would not just choose to race without being conditioned to do that initially by us and by us conditioning them to do this we are putting them into a situation of risk which they can't really understand so therefore they can't really consent to that risk um, you know, they, they, they don't know what they're getting themselves into, really. If horses don't know they get themselves into, as I said before, they refuse to race. Horse, I keep saying this, you know, horses know, with horses, they perform better at some courses than other courses. Throughout, and any, per, any racing person will know that. Just like the Grand National, mm. if the horse races the Grand National and finally comes back and attempts to jump the fences, it will put some, of them, some horses like it and can continue. Let's take uh, Red Rum, right, for a start. He won three Grand Nationals, came, came second twice. Outside the Grand National, his, his performance level was not up to standard as when he raced in the Grand National. Mm. Right? And, 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 jo and, jo and jockeys tell you this. When, when, you get on a, when you get on a horse, jockey will tell you this, that the horse, you, see, you feel the horse underneath you liking it, liking it. 
going to a fence, speeding up into a fence, jumping it, exuberant jumps. They're, they're, they're enjoying themselves. I'm not saying all horses enjoy themselves, but some horses do. And the, and the best people to know if the horse enjoy himself or not are the jockeys, the stable lads and lasses who ride the horses every day. You know, I don't, you don't. These guys are dedicated workers who ride the horses every day and they know the horses inside out. Yeah, but this they is, form a bond. But this, is they, the, they, but this is the thing. You can't deny that every time a horse goes to race, there is a risk that that horse could get injured and be killed, correct? Yeah, a horse can get injured. Okay, but... so, why, so why if we loved and cared for an animal, would we put it in a position of unnecessary risk when it's not needed because we've got to be fair horse racing isn't actually necessary for the horse in any way the only thing people it's necessary for is the people that own the horse the horse itself would makes no difference to the horse whether it races or not it only makes a difference to the people that own that horse so to the to the horse it, you just it's being put into unnecessary risk so what why would we do that well put this way your risk factor different to my risk factor the person down the road's risk factor different to my risk factor. Everyone have different factors but of we, risk. But we know the risk. We understand the risk, and we can we can actively decide to or to not take the risk. Yeah, but as as responsible people, we make decisions for animals. Every animal, right? Yeah, exactly. Make, respect, make response. Now, people's I think it's saying people's risk factors are different to others. Yeah, but it doesn't matter what their risk factor is. Surely, if we know there is a risk, and we care for an animal and we can choose not to put them into a position of risk we would why would we not choose to you know why would we choose to put them in a position of risk when we could easily choose not to what would be the actual well, reason for that we've, we've race horses well first of all it's, race is entertainment exactly but also but also race horses are, are, are bred to race and, and if racing will didn't exist these horses will, will will very likely and possibly we won't be around anymore i've yeah. googled uh, uh, Suffolk Punch, for example, did agriculture farming. They're endangered species. Why is that? Why, why aren't people breeding Suffolk Punch horses? For you know, they were agricultural farmer horses. They were plowing the, fi plowing the fields. Mm. What, why, why are they endangered in the world? Oh, but they, they, why, people, why, you know, why, why is there 20 other ho horse breeds that are extinct or endangered? Mm. But, but don't, if, if, don't you think, though? If you know it's not a possibility, if you know it's not a possibility that horse races will, won't, won't exist... You, 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 you're, you're, you're looking to the future. Both of us are looking to the future, saying, "Well, maybe or maybe not. We don't know. We simply do not know." No, but what, what, what I'm, what I'm saying though is that if, if, you know, if we want to stop all this, what we need to do is to stop breeding them. That's it. If we stop breeding them, then we don't have to worry about the, the horses being in a position where they might go to slaughter. But stop breeding them then a racehorse doesn't continue. But you do realise that the racehorse itself is, way, uh, it, 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 is a domestic you know, species, right? It isn't put, even... Put a... way, apart from outside racing, say, also, remember, we'll get rid of um, show jumping, that's a risk as well. Yeah, of course. All, all these horses, right, what will happen to them? Who's going to breed a racehorse if racing doesn't exist? Ask me a answer, answer this question. Okay. Who's going to breed a racehorse if a race doesn't exist, if uh, a race okay. doesn't exist. I, I would say no one, but I, but I would say, why do we need to breed, breed racehorses? They're not even a natural animal. They're a man-made animal that have been selectively bred from wild horses to become a unnatural machine for racing purposes. So why do we have a moral obligation to continue a species, even continue to breed them when they're not natural in the first place and they're only being used for entertainment purposes? Why would we continue to breed them? What, so, what, what would be the point? So the point is keep the species alive. But but they're keep not natural. Going. But they're not natural. They're not even living in the wild. So we're not helping the wild horse species, are we? It's not natural. It's not nat It's not natural also to extinct animal. Well, well because you think of this factor is, I, is, is, is too much. Okay, but think about it this way, okay? Um, so I, I mean, this might seem like a, a, a strange example, but hopefully you, you'll see what I mean. So. If we think of the story of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster, okay? So we, um, yeah. Frankenstein's now... <laughs> okay. Sorry, no, it, it sounds odd, I know, but maybe you'll understand my analogy from this. It's bedtime story, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping you'll understand the analogy. So basically, we have bred 
he has now bought into existence the Frankenstein monster. So now just because it exists, do we now have a moral obligation to continue their existence? It's like pugs, for example. We've bred pugs into the world. They now have uh, chronic problems. They have breathing problems. They have problems with their joints and everything. They're completely unnatural. Do we now have a moral obligation to continue to breed pugs just because they exist? I don't think we do. These animals exist in the wild already. If all thoroughbred racing horses went extinct, there would still be wild horses. And maybe we could put our efforts into protecting the, the few wild horses that are actually there and, you know, natural. We could put our, you know, our kind of minds again, into protecting again, those. Again, wild horses, you've got, you've got to control the population. There's 1,700, 17, um, sorry, 700 Dartmoor ponies that were killed, killed to try and keep the herd down. Oh, but this is what the thing. Do, this so, is the thing. So, so, Dartmoor ponies so, so, are now are now an endangered on, species. Hang on, hang on. So, 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 so you put these horses in the thing. They make mate mates. Say you put right. those horses together. Uh, you know, race horses together. And they mate mate mate. Do you did, do you let them continue to mate until they keep expanding, 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 or do you put controls in them? Well, th this is the thing, right? So Dartmoor ponies uh, are now classed as well, an endangered species. No, no, I'm just going to the point. Do you want to control breeding of all animals, i.e., for example, of wild horses? How do you control not, control that? That means you're you're interfering not, no, I don't. yourself. No, no, I don't. That means I, that means I, I've said no. I've said no. I don't want to interfere. No. And, so, I'll, yeah. and I'll, I'll explain why. Because wild horses, for example, in the US, the reason wild horses are being killed in such numbers is not because they're overpopulating. It's because they want to use that land for agriculture. They want to use that land to put cows on, basically. That is why wild horses in the US are being killed. In the UK, Dartmoor ponies are now endangered. And so why are we culling them in the first place when they're endangered species? We should be allowing them to actually reproduce and become in bigger numbers. So the, the, the whole reason... What number? But what number what do you mean what number we just let we can deal with that as they go but if you want to talk how, how do you deal with it but hold on a minute if you want to talk about invasive species if you're going to call them that humans are causing far more damage than any other species on the entire planet and at no point would you ever you know agree to a cull of humans because we are overpopulating you wouldn't agree to it so why should we agree to it with animals as i said, I said before how would you control? You, so, so you will not control greener animals. Well, this is the thing, right? If it became a situation where we could not control and it was actually causing damage to the environment, right? Which it would have to be. There would have to be a very big cause for us to even consider doing anything to them. Then we would, you know, we wouldn't need to look at culling. We could just look at sterilization and bring their numbers down, which again is unethical. I don't think we should have to do it, but if we need to then that's what we should do. But what I did say is we would never agree to a culling of human beings who are far more destructive than any of these other animals. So why would we ever you know, start talking about culling wild horses who are causing little to no damage in the big scheme of things? The only people they're interfering with are, are farmers because they want to use their land and they're damaging crops and stuff. That's a good point about... So you want to basically have the level playing field for animals and humans? Well, why not? They're here with us. They're okay. not here for us. I'll yeah. come back to that question later on okay. about video yep. and resources compared to video and human, humans' deaths. So we'll come back to that uh, issue later yeah, on for sure. about, for sure. about um, Devon against horse racing, video and the last moments of a horse. Mm -hmm. Would they video the last moments of a human being? Um, it, if, if the humans were being subjugated to do something that they wouldn't do and it would mean that we could raise awareness then probably yes probably get sued as well why not <laughs> well, no, but, uh, uh, but put, put it put this way, way. Put, put uh, this way put this way put this way so a woman got say are you against horse-drawn carriages yes hey, yeah so human so a horse and carriage gets out of control runs over a human would you stand there and record that human being last breaths right stand there record the human last breaths right yes or no um, well, it depends on the situation. If it was something to be like, well, that horse and carriage caused it and we want to raise awareness to show that horse and carriages are, are dangerous, then quite possibly, yeah. I don't think you would. Okay, do you disagree with the people un, uh, un, you know, um, exposing the stuff that went on in the uh, Nazi Holocaust? W was, that, was that bad for you, that they went and exposed and showed people dying and everything to expose an atrocity? Were you against that? 
Not I'm against that at all. Exactly. That, that, so that, why? So why are you against no, no, this? No, no, no. That's completely different. How's that's that different? People, that's killing people on on a million scale. Who this cares? A, leak. Well, on, a death I'm, is I'm, a death. I'm, I'm, a I'm, death I'm, is a death. No, no, no. Horse-drawn carriages are not illegal in this country. So the the, holoca- not, the Holocaust so, was legal in the country that it was in. Well, they committed war crimes, correct? Y- yeah, but not according to them. They didn't. It was legal in their no, country. No, 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 no. International war crimes. Right. You know they. They, they committed horse-drawn carriages and a person being run over by a horse and carriage. You stand in the filming, mm-hmm. it'd be a different situation. But just because something's legal, it doesn't mean, it mean it's moral. We have to make that distinction. Slavery was once legal. It doesn't mean it was moral. So we have but to I, differentiate these as, things. As, as, as I say before, I haven't seen uh, Devon Amel horse watch what called, uh, we call a uh, jockey being fallen off and stayed there, we called the jockey and gone for the horse. I know, like, obviously, that Amel... Amel, Amel, Amel yeah. um, Welfare people. But, but I, I, don't th- but I can explain that. Put, 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 put it this way. Put it this way. If a jockey got killed in a race course at right. Newton Abbott, would you film it? Um, probably not if it was the jockey. And I'll tell you why. Because the thing is, if the jockey died, there would be publicity and everyone would know about it. When a horse dies on the course, nobody knows about it. For example, Bubble O'Clock that died recently, I yeah. found zero stuff about Bubble O'Clock dying. I did a search for it on Twitter. Nothing. Newton Abbott race course website. Nothing. Radio website fatality, and that's where Amelaide get their stats. Yeah, from. but but that BHA. is not informing the public. The public it's, can the public access the BHA website free of charge? But they probably don't even know it exists. Of course, they do. Why isn't Newton Abbott Racecourse the course that put on the race announcing a death on its own course? Why should people have to go searching the internet to find out that a horse died on like one website somewhere? Why should they have to do that? Do you not think there should be transparency? Would you not agree there should be more transparency? Yeah. How do you know that there's four deaths at uh, Newton Abbott? How do we know? Because a lot of the time we've ended up filming them. No. (laughs) Yeah. So put it this way. How do you know there's hundred odd odd horses uh, deaths on random race courses? Because there's a website. Because there's a website. Because there's a website called Horse Death Watch which records them all. Which get their information from every single race in the country. In this country, yeah. has a steward report. Listen, every single runner. Yeah, and also from eyewitness supports ha- like us, because we, because no. the, could they, the, that group is submitted to Horse Death Watch. I no, know no, that. Right, right, right. BHA do steward reports. Right. They list every single runner on there and what's happened during the race, they made a mistake, or the pulled up lane, or fatality. And that's where Amelaide get their information from. Now, you say about, um, Racing doesn't get the well, but, press about uh, yeah. horses. When horses die on Grand National, front page. Oh, yeah, Hall. because they can't get away with it because it's now, so ha- well hang watched. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whitmore Hall, Doncaster. Wasn't a big race. Front, front, second or front page of, of the mirror. Right. Okay. There's horse racing page and the thing. There's many articles in, um, in, 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 in the papers. On the internet. Hey, sh- show show, me, the front, show me the last front page article for a... A, a horse that died at Newton Abbott Racecourse. In fact, show me any article where a horse rider died, you know, that isn't or just on a BHA website. Show me anywhere that Newton Abbott Racecourse has even acknowledged that a horse has died on their course, on their website. So so, so do you think then, put this way, the Grand National, the most, the biggest yeah. race in the world, publicly left, right and centre, they had two horse deaths in 2011, front page news. Two horse deaths in 2012. Front page news. Yeah, but do you know why? Do you know why yeah, they were the front public, page no, no, news? No, no, hang, hang on, hang, hang, hang on, hang on. The public made an educated decision. Look, probably look, look, look the facts. Look, look, look the decisions in the sun. Yes, they are risking racing, but we support it, and that, that's why racing is still. You know, I hear I hear many people say um, racing is losing its popularity. Most pop. Oh, you're, 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 um, just so you know, your connection's gone a bit weird. This country. Oh, Matt. The Grand Matt, National. Matt, because obviously... Hang, hang on, hang oh, on. No, 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 your, your connection went strange. I, I didn't catch what you said. Your connection... Yeah, your connection broke up. You might just need to repeat what you said. Yeah, sorry. I was say the, about the Grand National, it got front page news, right? And people made an educated decision about it, right? You know, saying people don't know about this and that twitter it, and twitter and social media are massive nowadays it trends on twitter it trends you know on facebook the same people don't know know things about it the vast majority yeah, of people go who, who go to 
ordinary racing are actually jumping fans or, or horse racing fans or flat fans. They know the risk, right? They understand the risk, right? They made a decision to support racing because, you know, that I've I, you know either been brought up with it or they've or, 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 or I was a five year old, six year old. I watched a Grand National. My dad didn't. You no, know, my dad was in, was was into horses, but I he, he didn't push me into it. I, I it caught my imagination, and, and that's where and, and that's where and that's where people don't don't understand. It's not it's not about racing does a, a fantastic job, right? I know you disagree with that. Understand your points of view. Understand the welfare points of view, but no, these these horses are so well done. Five star treatment. Five star facilities. One-on-one -on -one care from stable lads and lasses, right? Now he brought up the you know the slaughter figures. Yes, I think it should be improved. I think it's a lot more lot lot more done. I think people in racing will say a lot more should be done, and, and racing are always striving to improve. But as you just said there, right? I just said I said I, I watched your one hour 40, 46 minutes um, at New Abbott last year. Right, and you said horses won't be extinct. Those going the thing, and you just admitted there you, that it could possibly happen. No, but I, I meant horses, not uh, as a species, not just thoroughbreds. It's one one species of horse. There's plenty of horses, so horses wouldn't go extinct. Yeah, yeah, but you don't know, do you? You, you don't know. You, you know yeah, but, yeah, but, but just because who, we don't know, who will breed? Who will breed, or even attempt to breed? Uh, a thoroughbred race horse about racing. Yeah, but why would show jump? But it's saying or, why? Or, 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 why do we or, need or to? Team sports. Why do we need to breed them? We don't need to breed them. So, thoroughbred horses so, are playing no part in horse conservation. These horses will never be put back in the wild. They are completely domesticated. They will forever be kept in captivity in by people. They will never be let loose and be wild horses. So what? possible reason would we need to continue them except for our own selfish wants so that means you want to get rid of them i, I wouldn't mind, way, I, I wouldn't mind them if, if they died out i wouldn't have you. a problem i'll put that i'll say that so, straight out if they died out and that's my and that's my point you yeah. want to get rid of the species of horse I, I wouldn't mind if they go extinct i don't care that's fine right. that's, that's, that's fine. fine hey thank you for the honesty thank you for the honesty yeah i will be honest in the yeah, same in the same way i would say the same about a lot of animals i would say um uh, domestic dogs and domestic cats i would also say exactly the same they are domestic species they have never existed in the wild they are not meant to be kept by humans there is absolutely no reason for us to keep them but our selfish wants their their um, relatives already exist in the wild their wild relatives the entire cat and dog domestic species could die out and cats and dogs would still exist in the world in the same way that the thoroughbred species of horse could die out and horses would still exist in the world they are man-made animals that have never existed they are not natural in any way they can never be put back into the world because they are not even that they are in a weird situation where they're not wild they're not in the human world they're in this limbo so i don't see any ethical like moral obligation where we need to continue them and especially you, and especially not said, continue you, them if they're going to still be continue to be exploited but you said one death is too many yeah, but, yeah, but I'm, yeah, but I'm not saying kill them policy, i'm not saying kill them i'm uh, saying let them policy, live horses, you're, let them live me, their life you tell me if you ban horse racing no horses will die if they die who's that fault of who's the fault of well uh, us people, us or the people, people that own them people own them who who who, who then Stable lads last lost their jobs. Who are who own race horses? Who left that horse? But, but hold on. Do you think? Do you think the current climate they're going to get a get a job like that after all their experience and lives of working with horses? When you want this, are you are you are you saying there's no one? which I can prove because my my partner has, has got horses. There's no one on a very low income that can't that can't keep horses. Well, put it this way: if very low income, you shouldn't be paying three three hundred pounds. Is it a week you pay for? Yeah, three hundred pound for pound a week. For the so, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's one thousand two hundred and uh, per month. That's nearly fifteen thousand a year you pay on them two horses. If you're living off that plus rent and other things, you're not you're, you're on to this low income. No, actually, no. Actually, I could be incorrect. It could actually be three hundred pound a month. Okay, right. Okay. I said even, they're, so. not, they're not my horses. If I'm completely incorrect, I apologise. They're oh, not mine. Just... But, <laughs> but 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 all all I'm saying is is these animals currently have homes if the horse racing they industry well, well, they, uh, well, they, live, they live at stable training yards well, they have training yards be closed hold, on, down. hold on they have people who own them they have yeah. owners okay those owners are responsible for those animals they yeah. have 
bred them or whatever, they have purchased them, they are their responsibility. If the government decides to stop horse racing and gives them, say, X amount of time before horse racing is going to go, it is their responsibility to sort themselves out to be able to look after that horse. So what you're doing there is you're, you're saying, well, we'll govern by, govern by standing back. Whatever happens to the horse is not our fault, but then say one horse death is too much. No, but it's not our fault. How is it our fault? It would be irresponsible owners because in the end, they should have never, ever got a horse if they, yeah. uh, if, if their income relied on the horse because that is completely irresponsible. The, the, the income doesn't own a horse. Well, then what's yeah. the problem then? They've right, obviously right, got right, other right, income. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right? Stabilised lasses' income relies on racing. Many sta I'll, send, I'll send you the thing and yeah. you apply to every single stable, sta stable ass you want to about their horse, how to look mm -hmm. after, right? And, and say, you, right, if, in, say you got to lose your job, right? If you lose your job and you partly lose your job, you can't afford your horses. Now, what you got to do, you, you, you explain it on, 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 on Facebook Messenger, you have to what? Sell well, them on, give them to someone else. Yeah, but so the that, thing is, the your, thing is, you're means, claiming that means, that means you're still responsibility from you to someone else. Well, the thing is, right, horse racing is a billion pound or more industry, okay? Are you honestly saying that between all of the people within horse racing, if they yeah. stopped breeding, it would be absolutely impossible to make sure those horses have a continued life? Are you saying that is absolutely impossible to do, right. even if the I'm government not, stepped I'm in not and saying, I'm not saying every single horse will go. A lot of good owners out there, a lot of good stabilizers will try their best for the horses. Exactly. A lot. But some, but some have to make a choice. Okay, so why, why can't they, yeah. why can't they give them to the people that can yes, afford race, it? Race is a billion pound industry, but you're taking that as everyone's well, well off. Yes, racing may be the sport of kings, but the vast majority of owners, right, in racing, do not make a return. Right. I say it again. The vast majority of owners do not get return on those on the pay for tra train fees or through prize money because, because British racing has a, one of the lowest prize money in the world in racing terms. Right. Okay. And the billion pound industry is not from just just race racing. It's from sponsorship, which will go, betting, which will go, course tendons, which will go. That's where the money is, and TV rights. Right. Okay. That's where the money. Is. That's what you're, you're talking about as a, as a billion pound industry that everyone's well off. It's not true. That's okay. why many syndicates own horses. Okay. Put it this way. Just, just say, just say you're right. I'm gonna say your, just say your argument is right, and some horses would die. Right. Ultimately, even if some horses died, horse racing would end forever. No other horse would ever die by the hands of a jockey on a, on a course for the rest of all time. That is but a you, sacrifice no. that would still ultimately be better than what you are advocating, which is to continue the sport just because you think a few people might not be able to look after their horse at the end of it. No, but you just said, I'll say your words again. You said one horse death is too much, even if no deaths, it's too much. Yeah, they and are. Now, now, and do you think I want them to die? No. But ultimately, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying you want to die. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I think, I you know, I, we have a back and forth all the time on Facebook. We have a, you know, I reckon a good, a, a good relation with Facebook. We have a, you know, a set. Mm. I call it a set too. You, you say things, I say things. We have not, not confrontation. We try and share facts and figures and yeah. we try and, you know, debate it. That, that, that's, that is good for society. It's, 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 you know, it's what, it's what race should do. Should, should challenge people like, people like yourself and, and, and animal welfare. I believe racing haven't done that properly but what i'm trying to say is that you want to in instinct you, your, your belief is no matter what if horse racing goes i don't care if, if horses get extinct they get extinct yeah, but now, it, people, it ends an unethical that, sport which is what you're missing it puts an end in your eyes you are not the majority of the country no it doesn't matter the majority of the country that, support it. That, 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 that's known as an appeal to popularity that's not a valid argument just it's a, it's a valid no no just because no 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 just because the majority of people support something that does not mean it's ethical the majority of people in some it states in the also u.s you're right it, well, no but this is the thing right i'm prove i'm i've given my argument uh, how do you how do you prove that um, horse racing is ethical. So I've explained that they are sentient beings that have no need to be raced or have anyone riding them whatsoever. They have no idea how to um, 
weigh up the risks. Um, they are conditioned to do everything. You've already admitted that it's purely for entertainment value. The horses no, are. No, 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 no. I said, yes, it can be for entertainment value, but also the species itself. How are the horses the benefiting? Races. Okay, how are the horses benefiting? Well, put it this way if there's no racing and you said you want to get rid of the species, we know species, that's the horse benefit. Right, and how is the horse losing out if they're, if they're not there? How are they losing out? Well, as I said before, they're losing out because you, you, your policies, if you're even in charge, right, even expected of anything, right. you think that people in racing have loads of money left, right, and centre. If they lose their job, they'll find some magical money tree to find, fund their horses, right? Right. And, 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 and remember, race employs 85,000 people. But do you, do you hold the same position? Bit. Again, do you hold the same position with bullfighting? Are, are you going to say no, we shouldn't no, close no, bullfighting no, no, because no, of the money no, that people have? Different. See, this, 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 this is where we, we, we no, cross how? swords. No, 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 no. no wait, swords. wait, let me explain, though. Because, like, like I said, it isn't, I'm not comparing the killing of a bull to the, kill, um, to the racing of a horse. That is not what I'm doing. I'm comparing the fact that they are both sports based around exploitation of animals for money, which all involve an industry around them. If both of them finish, they will both lose jobs. People will lose income, no matter which one of them stop. Okay. So yep. why haven't you got problems with people in losing any, their in, job in, with bullfighting? Hang on, Finishes. in any way, you can't, can't say bullfighting. And those bulls racing. won't be bred either. So those bulls won't be in existence either. So you happy now, for those bulls to be extinct? How many tired bulls are there? None. Exactly. Exactly. How many tired racehorses? I know, there's probably quite a few, but this is the thing. Those quite bulls won't exist anymore, So, 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 so say again, have you, done re have you done any research on retired racehorses? Well, what do I need to know? I know well, they exist. Race, I know they're there. You know, the R and R retraining racehorses right. have eight to ten thousand registered racehorses on there. Right, but I don't right. see. I don't see what you're. What, how that makes my, a my difference. Point is, my point is, try and compare bullfighting any way of racing. It's completely different. No, your, your thing is like, like yes, a, yes, yes, yes. I understand the industry thing. That's what I'm. But that's what I'm using it as. Small industry. Racing is a massive industry. But it's not a small industry. It's huge in the countries where it is. No, no, no. Racing's popular around the world. Australia. Oh, yeah. It might, okay, it might uh, be bigger like that. Yeah, South okay, Africa, I understand that. Brazil, yeah? So you're comparing a small industry to a massive industry. You can't compare it. No, but you, you still can, because in the end, ultimately, people will still lose their jobs if those industries die, right? To perfect eyes, it's probably a hobby, not a job for bullfighting. No, but it's a career. There are professional matadors that make their, Not their, many, their livelihood. It doesn't matter. It, thing is, it doesn't matter how many there are. The thing is, they will still lose their jobs. Correct? Lose their jobs, but put it this way, they lose their jobs, but it'd be a few. You talk, you talk, you talk. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but you're talking about losing their jobs, but these balls will be dead. Their aim of bullfight is kill, pull, pull, kill ball, balls. Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about the Horse industry. Race. Like I said, it's, I'm not comparing the killing but, and but the racing. If you that's what I mean. If you get rid of ball fighting, either way, those balls will be dead in the ring. Yeah, I understand. If, that. If, 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 you know, racing racing has many retired racehorses. If, it right, might do, but just you, just because some you, horses you, survive. If you, ban, if you ban horse racing, the, the, the effect on the population of the horse will be massively bigger than on balls which know, but, technically are there to be killed yeah, but the thing is right horses are only there the thoroughbreds to be raced which is completely which is as unnecessary no, they're, as they're as animals. killing the bulls there's no, no need no, no, you know you know you try people people have race horses people breed race horses they love their race horses and, they do and, and, but, and but they and, breed and, and them and to, to race and, and to, you know what they sorry, breed sorry, sorry, them oh sorry they breed them to race correct that is yeah, the purpose they are bred. Okay, racing horses but, but, is but as even, but even even horses who don't race go into good careers. The retrain racers are many race horses, ex race horses that haven't raced. I know. Yeah, there are. Yeah, of course there are. But the thing is, the, what the thing is that they are bred for a purpose, right? They are not bred because we just want to help out horses and we want them to have a a nice life. They're bred for a human purpose, in the same way the bulls are bred for a human purpose okay the purpose is different the purpose is different i fully agree with you the purposes are very different but they are still both bred for a human purpose which in itself is unethical in itself that we are breeding animals for us to use because these animals are not here for us they're here with us on this planet 
They're not here for us to use. They're not here for us to breed so that we can use them for things that we enjoy. They are individuals. They are sentient beings. So even that on its own is an unethical act to do by bringing an animal into the world for our selfish use. Keeping the species alive is an ethical thing. No, but, no, Keeping, no I said, completely disagree you, with you. Completely well, well, disagree. Well, do you know what? We've gone 40, 51 minutes of this. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all right. <laughs> we're, we're doing all right. Fine past. Uh, <laughs> keeping space alive is, 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 is ethical. In, no, my, in my view. It's not because... Okay, well, okay. Does thor- do thoroughbred horses, have they ever existed in the world? Are they a wild animal? They, they, they well, I don't know thousands of years what... what, what all I know, yeah. all I know is the herd animals are the, the, yeah. the, 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 the thoroughbred horse. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm guessing some have lived in the world and may have. May have... No, because no, no one's ever been into the world and seen a thoroughbred horse. This never existed. Those horses were, were um, basically that they're from captured wild horses that over the years have been genetically bred for a human purpose. Mm. Those animals will never, ever in their lifetime see the world ever again. In fact, if they get put into the world, a lot of them just may not survive without human intervention now. They, they need us to survive because they're just not wild animals anymore. Well, so, with, with horses, wild animals, either, either horses, wild animals, there's human intervention. No, but they're not. They're, yeah, but, but for what reasons? No, normally... Well, well if, 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 you're, if you're culling them... Do that, you want wild horse to breed, breed like fire... Well, right, I, I, and don't control their herd, but you want to ban racing to get to, 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 to extinct a horse. No, but like I said, the, I, I, find, I, find, I find it, I find it contradicting. No, 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 but the thing is, the reason these horses are being seen as breeding too much, uh, you know, I'll ask you the question: Why, why do we think that horses are breeding too much? What's the problem? What are they doing? Horses in general. Yeah, horses. So, so horses are there oh. and they're breeding. What, what's the problem? Why should we be controlling their numbers? Wild, wild horses. Yeah. What reason? Well, for, 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 for for obvious reasons. But like what? One, one if, if, if they're hurt. Um, okay, that's different. They, we're they, we're they helping. Need help. They, they need help. That's different. Right? We're, we're helping. And if a wild horse is in the wild and, and they're running everywhere and they're, you know, they can, they can be a danger themselves. No, but they, they, sure, they, no, 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 that isn't the reasons. We're not. So you're telling me, you're telling me, you, you have, you can keep breeding, 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 they, no control. That is not the reasons that we do it. Okay, we are, we are not, we are not culling horses just to help the ones out that are injured and make sure they don't injure themselves. We cull horses because they take over land that we want, which is generally for farming. Like in America, they herd them up with. A helicopter or whatever they put them into pens and everything because they want to use that land for farmland we are taking over their habitat so they are get, not a problem it's right you would not intervene at all not ideally no i don't think we need to i don't think we should they have every right to be there no no so you're not so let, let them breed as much as they possibly can no controls nothing well we let every other animal do exactly the same so why shouldn't we let those so, after a while, what, what, the, what, after a while, those herds will balance as every other animal does. They don't. They're not like rabbits, and they go, you know, suddenly multiply into billions and billions. They get to a certain point, and then they balance themselves out like every animal does. We're not even allowing them to do that because we take their land from them. We're not giving them the chance to do that. We kill them because it's inconvenient for us, not for their sake. Not for their sake. So no. if. If you time seven thousand by to, to seven hundred thousand over many, many years, or kind of thing, like keep breeding, keep breeding, keep breeding. Yeah, that won't that that won't be a problem to you. What do you think humans are doing? How do you think how fast do you think humans are are breeding? About a hundred times faster than they ever will. How destructive are we compared to them? They're they're a little scratch compared to what we do. Are you going to agree that we should stop? We should start culling humans because humans are causing more damage. Of course you won't. So why on earth would we say it to a horse? The only reason we do it is for us well, because it's inconvenient well, put this to way, us. Put this way, I think China, I, th- I think China stopped uh, human being, uh, w- women having more than one children, I believe. Oh, they did, uh, they did. And, I, and, I, and to be honest, I, I've got nothing against that. I think that's probably a good idea. That? Yeah. Oh. Because I do, because humans... That's, that, that, that's, that's interesting. 
Yeah, because, well, think about it. Okay, can you deny this? Humans. <laughs> we can, we can no, go the subject. Humans, no, but, but humans, oh, okay. wait, 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 but humans are hands down the most destructive species. Sorry, 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 getting broke. Oh, sorry, mate. Um, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you hear me better now? Is that better? Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, okay, great. Go on, go on, yeah, yeah go so, um, yeah, I mean, would you deny this statement? Okay, humans are hands down the most destructive species on this planet. Oh yes. Okay, so what is even slightly controversial about us trying to control our own population? When but, we're happy, also, when we're happy to also, cull all these other animals that are causing not even a point zero zero one percent amount you're of harm. Saying, you're saying every animal should be level with humans. That is unrealistic. I'm not saying that. I never said that. It's not going to happen. I never said they should be level with humans. I never said that. No, you said you, no, no. Just like just like filming a human being or filming a horse. You saying you said on your your uh, new Abbott video. Yeah. What's the equivalent of a human and a, and, a, and, a, and an animal or a horse? Yeah, that doesn't mean I what think they're on the same level. I, yeah, I, I, want to. No, I, I actually think humans. You, I think humans are more valuable than than horses. I actually think there is a degree. For example, I don't think I'm on the same level as a fly. I think a fly is a lot more level than me. Because without us, without, without us controlling the breeze or controlling that or or sorting sort those issues out, they. They would die. No, but do you realise that those issues only exist because we caused them? They only need to be culled because we caused that in the first place. We went to their land and we took over their land. And now they're an inconvenience to us. It's not their land. They don't own it. They don't, horse don't own land. What do you mean? But you know what I mean? Horses that's where they the lived. Land. But that's where they lived. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Horses don't pay for anything. Don't, no, they, no, they no, don't. They don't get, uh, uh, but we don't own land uh, either. Uh, Human Buy beings do. No, 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 hold on. Buying land is we a do, we own houses. Buying land is a human construct. We don't own anything. Who owns Dartmoor? Who owns Dartmoor? Realistically, in the big scheme of things, no one, but from a human construct, someone you know, maybe has chosen to buy us parts of that land or something exactly. else. But so realistically, so it's not their land, is it? It's a human construct, though, isn't it? Take the land from them. It's not their land. No, but it's a human construct. But ev ev everything okay, we'll change the words. Humans. We'll change the words. We've encroached on their home. That's where they live, and we've come into where they live, and we've taken it over from ourselves, and we've pushed them out. Have we not done that? Of course we've done that. We've pushed, we pushed horses out. We've pushed every push, animal. Push horses out. You do you know that there are more animals now, there are more domestic animals on the planet than there are wild animals? Oh, I... I, I, I... One thing about because we have I pushed know, them I know, all out. I know. I know. We, I know. We're just we're moving away from. The yeah, I know we've gone on a bit of a tangent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> People are thinking it's not horse racing. What's this about? <laughs> it, all, it all kind of interlinks. It all wait, interlinks. Wait, I I agree about um, humans. You know, they do some very bad things. But also, do some very good things. And the bad things they do have a, have a lasting effect yeah. for years and decades and centuries to to come. But. We've got to be a, a realistic, we've got to live in a realistic world, right? I always say, I understand, your, I understand you want everything to be, you know, animals left alone. It will not happen. No, this, is, not this happen. is the thing. The, the only reason it won't happen if people choose not to let it happen. There is, like, for example, there is no reason that today you can decide to not support horse racing. You could go, I'm not going to support it. I'm going to leave it. And every other person could do that. There's nothing stopping people but, our, but ourselves. Correct? Ourselves, the same point of view, but not everyone's the same point of view. They might, they, people might, like, yeah, I mean, to, people have got to, different to, points to, of view. You know, you're, you're out there to educate people, aren't you? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, that's what I do. I've, yeah. I've seen some of those. I think some of those are really, you know, some of those are really good. I think an intelligent person, you know, you're not stupid. You've you, you got a good fan, fan, fan base. You've got a good following, right? Okay. I'm not, because our, 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 our opinions differ on, on certain things, doesn't mean I, I'm going to call you so and so words. I, yeah, of course. I think you're a good person. You got you, Obviously, your heart's, heart's in the right place and you want to do best of, for animals. But there's got to be a realistic situation here. Has to be a bit brought down from here down to realism. Yeah, but right? I, this is the thing. Horse race, horse, horse race isn't going anywhere. All right. Let's move back to horse racing. Horse race, second most popular attended sport behind football. Right, right. But, but that doesn't matter. Okay, I just say it's a billion pound industry. Why is it a billion pound industry? Because it's successful. Okay. Correct. Oh yeah, it's, of course yeah. it's successful. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah, it's you know loads of people go. I've got. I would never right. dispute now, that. Our, you know, 
Yeah, 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 you're back, you're back, right. Yep. Yeah, sometimes it works if you just reset it because it was a bit all over the place. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's right, fine. carry on with what you were saying. Um, yeah. What was I saying about what I was saying? I forgot that we're going across all sorts of subjects, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so so you, you, you were saying about horse racing, horse riding, oh, sorry, horse racing won't come to an end. That's what you were, you were saying. Yeah, I, I, I don't think, you know, we have to be realistic. I understand, look, my views of you, CCTV footage in storehouses, correct. Bull fighting, ban it, correct. Dog fighting, correct. Cock fighting, correct. Right? A lot of people in racing agree with some of your views. The reason why some don't agree with you is because you're unrealistic, right? And they disagree about saying that horse racing is, is, is unethical, right? Now, what I, say, what I say to people like yourself, I say, look, how about this? How about this? Let's try and meet, meet in the middle. Why don't we work together, right, to get to be a better, work together in terms that we share each other's, share each other's values, but work, work better? Yeah, I can hear you. you I can hear you. Yep. Well, I can see, but I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't write it. So, just, 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 I, always, I always think that people like yourself who, you know, you're, you're, in, in, you're intelligent, Work with racing, get things down. I, I, I know, I know, it, I know it again going into principles, but work with us to get things sorted out. Work to, you know, to in, try try improve things. You may have ideas that may help help, help racing, but what, what your ideas are is that they, that there's no line. It's basically you end it, that's it, and that's where in a realistic world horse race will not go. Right, it will not go. It may go in some other countries. Right, okay. It may disappear, you know, it, it went in, in, in Israel, but Israel wasn't a really big horse racing, horse racing country. But horse race is here, here to stay for the very foreseeable future and probably beyond that, right? Probably past our lifetimes, past our brothers and sisters, past our, their sisters, you know, it, it's, it's here to stay. Now, I understand your views, I understand your concerns about how race, how race horse is treated and how it's unethical, but we've got... But, if we keep doing this, all you're going to do is, put it this way, what have you succeeded, right, at Newton Abbott that has made the race course non, uh, less less attendance, less betting revenue, less sources go there, less trainers go there? What have you succeeded over the last, is it, uh, is well, it, is it three or four well, years have been there now? I know, but this is the thing, right? It's not just about one group. It's about everything in total and there is no denying that the image of horse racing over the last x amount of years has basically become gone more and more downhill more and more people are seeing that yeah you know, are, are moving away from it like yeah it's still popular of course it's still popular people are still attending and everything but it doesn't oh, mean yeah. that the pressure oh. is not on because all these uh, extra welfare things that are coming in such as putting pads on things, doing this, doing that. All these things are happening because of the ever-growing pressures of the public to, you know, to sort it out. No, I, no, I, I, like it's, I don't think, I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the, the, the horse racing industry. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, if you want to show me somewhere on the horse, you know, it, it, within the horse industry, these campaigns to create these better things then you know I'm, I'm happy to look at those but the general perception from the public of horse racing is just becoming more and more negative well social media is a strange thing now if, if, if you look, say i like to bring election in look, look, look at that last election all social media is about jamie corbyn and that and that but the silent majority didn't, didn't agree with the social media. Social media, in my in my thing, is a left wing, more left wing than actual realistic opinion across the country. That's what I think. Mm. Um, I racing has it's always trying to improve. That, the pressures from Amelaide or yourself and your and the groups you all work work with haven't really brought about much, right? In fact, racing works with RSPCA and World Horse Welfare. They've worked with RSPCA, RSPCA in the early 90s, allowed RSPCA into the race courses. Yeah, but we, we don't think the RSPCA yeah. are, are reputable either because they also allow some very questionable things to happen to animals. 
So that they're not really what we consider a a good kind of um, organization to be determining what is and isn't good for animals because yeah, there's some very questionable yeah, but things there. Uh, yeah. I could I could say veganism. They kill billions of of of, of insects because they're plant based. Oh, yeah. I mean I I, I mean it, I know it, I know you're down, just, 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 just to put it out there. I'm happy to answer that question because you did answer it in the chat. So we'll continue and afterwards I'll happily answer that question for you to clarify yeah, 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 no 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 that's, that's fine you know everyone every organization every person has things that okay are not ethical but you know we still try and do things better for 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 purpose yeah you know yeah they, are, they say rsp say might not be perfect but i'll tell you what i'm rather having it in in racing and outside racing which you, you know, oh of course you know i mean saying? i mean yeah i mean I, I would i would i would agree with you there that you know it's better there's someone looking out you know, the, the nobody. Mm -hmm. the, the, we, we can agree there. And that, and with the whip issue, I've been a whip issuer. Um, yep. piece, they, they help design the whip. They help design. Because I guarantee this, right? If I showed you a whip, you, you wouldn't know what a racing whip is compared to a normal whip. Yep. Would you know? No, probably not. Probably not. Now, put it this way. If I said to you the whip had no padding, was the long piece of say metal or, or, or hard rubber, really hard rubber. Yeah. Right? No no pain whatsoever and hit a horse, I would say that's cool. The whips in racing are foam padded whips. Okay? Yeah. Foam padded. So they hit your hands, they make a sound like that. Yeah. Okay. They're not they're, they're not like old fashioned whips. In the old days in racing they used to have old fashioned whips. That's how that's how racing's come. From the old days up to the 90s, and uh, you know, the, these new whips came in, uh, came into fashion early 2000s, I believe. So, yeah. Amalate wasn't well known. You weren't you weren't well known. So, racing has improved. No, know? I think it's, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't argue whip, that. I wouldn't I wouldn't argue that racing has improved. Uh, we can agree that racing has yeah. improved, but it's you, 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 it's when you're just improving uh, what is ultimately unethical anyway. It's it's still unethical. It's just slightly less unethical than it was previously. Yeah. So, we, 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 which is why, which is why bringing in welfare things to us is not the solution. It's almost the equivalent of, you know, giving someone a pillow on the waterboard. You know, you're keeping them more comfortable. But ultimately, what's happening is is still an unethical act and should stop. Which is why we advocate for stopping something which is unethical rather than trying to make it more or well, less unethical should we say yeah but by doing that you distance yourself from actual improvements and that means no but we don't because those improvements back. happen anyway because because more and more pressure comes on you know by this these things happen without us having to even advocate like you said horse racing is improving and part of that will be to improve the public image of racing because people like us and many others you know, don't like it. So we don't need to be there saying you should do this and this because all we need to be is saying we think it should stop and the industry themselves are going to do everything they can to keep people interested and keep them keep them happy by making welfare improvements anyway. So it's kind of well, doing our job for us. You know, put it this way, if a horse is not happy, it will not run to its full potential. That depends if it's 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s, mm -hmm. right? If a horse is not happy, you, you know, if you see a horse in a parade ring, look at his pricks, lovely shiny coats, uh, look like professional athletes, look happy himself. That's not a horse being, 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 you know, a horse look to be cruel to. You say horse race is cruel for the deaths. No, it's, no. Um, the thing is, I'm, I'm not even saying it's just for the deaths. I'm saying the fact that we are even using another animal for our own gain in itself is is unethical. Even if ah, well, so, so for example, well, just, just 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 to make it clear, so you know you know my exact position. So you you could yeah. take you could take away all the jumps, okay? You could guarantee yeah. that there are zero deaths or or injuries to those horses, okay? I would still argue that that horse has been conditioned for someone to ride it. It is it has not consented to you riding it because they cannot consent they have no ability 
to consent. Um, so using another living being for your own personal enjoyment in itself is unethical. And if we put that into the human context, we would agree with that. If we bred a human into existence for our own selfish needs to do what we want with them, we would also say that is unethical. And as far as I'm concerned, there is no relevant difference between us and the horse, which makes it okay for us to do it to the horse, but not to us. Do you think, do you think animal welfare organisations exploit animals for their own personal gain? Um, animal, in, what, in what context? Put it this way, put it this way, put it this way. Go for it. Last weekend, last weekend, the horse refused to race. Yeah. We said on Messenger the horse was injured. Not true. Okay. Well, I mean, from the video, okay. Isn't it, no, no, no. From no, the no, video, no, it looked distressed. Can I finish point? Can yeah, you, yeah. Okay. Point? Yeah. Continue. Can continue. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, no. Worries, no. Worries, carry on. Carry other welfare, on. Other welfare group said the ball whip which should be two or three yards behind hit the horse. It didn't. Okay. Yeah. I, I can concede right. that was the case. That's not a problem. Okay. Yep. So either probably didn't mean it, but you said the horse is injured. Where's the facts in that? I didn't look it up. I didn't look at the steward's reports. So you and then are exploiting that horse in that, thing, in, 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 in that video for your own personal gain. Okay, who's so it? Who, who, wait, who, wait, wait, okay, one, what do we gain out of this? Because ultimately, if horse you racing... Gain, you gain public perception at horse racing. Yeah, but, okay, but exactly. I mean, what do, what do I personally gain out of this? If, if horse racing finished... I wouldn't get anything. Yeah. I, I wouldn't get any money. I wouldn't get any anything. I probably wouldn't get an, a, a round of applause or anything. People wouldn't even even know. Sorry, I didn't know. Um, I didn't know league, league, uh, the league or animal aid uh, have all, all volunteers. I didn't know all welfare groups or all volunteers. They're paid people in there as well. There, the, um, so paid, there are there are with some organisations. Devon against um, horse racing is completely volunteer led. In fact, I don't even think they have any money at all. It's it's completely volunteered. It's it's, it's basically the public. But, but does it matter the gain or not? You're, you're, the gain is for you is to see the end of horse racing. Yeah, but but, but that but that doesn't per, benefit there's us. There's personal gains. There's financial gains. But how does that benefit? Gains. How does that benefit us? It doesn't benefit us yeah, at all. We're standing up for the horse. We want the horse to benefit. We we don't get anything out of it. If horse racing finishes, like I said, I'm not going to get paid. I'm not going to get any money for it. I'm I'm not going to get anything. I'm not going to personally gain anything. I'm standing up for the horse. I want the horse to benefit. No, you, no, you personally, you, you, no, your personal views, right, will be gained from from, 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 from using that video. But what, what you, what you, 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 gain something. But you're su you're suggesting that we doesn't mean monetary value. No, but you, you're you're suggesting that the only reason we would do this is for an ego boost. No, for your views that you shouldn't you shouldn't have horse racing. Yeah, but, so, but but we don't so, want horse racing because so, we because we because we so, like the horse. So, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the horse. Then you should be telling the truth about that horse. You shouldn't be saying that horse is injured with no proof. Didn't well, check the stewards' reports. Wait, sports. okay, well, hold on, hold on. Did, but did, that video, that video, okay, we we can we can squabble over whether it was injured or anything. In that video, that horse looked very uncomfortable. Are you denying that that horse looked, looked good to race? Like, do, what? No, he didn't want to race. Well, exactly. Okay. So, so that, that uh, okay. So even if it wasn't injured, injured, even if it wasn't injured, that horse was clearly stressed, uncomfortable with the situation. Correct. So, well, the horse is stressed. He's just doing my race. If horse is stressed, he'll sweat it really badly, or or bolt, 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 bolt. But the, horse, the, the thing bolt, is, bolt, okay. But the, the the thing the thing There's is a famous horse. That, there's a famous horse called Mad Moose. Mad Moose. Is it? Sorry, bring this up. Mad Moose. He used, used to be. He, he, he. Basically, he stopped racing three or four times in a row. He then went flat racing into stalls. Right. Won a race. Won that race in the flat. Next race in the flat, in the stalls, he, he, he refused to race again. So, yep. horses do have choices. He wasn't stressed. He wasn't distressed. He said, he do not do a race today. Horses have different emotions. Horses are a bit like humans, actually. Um, different temperaments, different, you know, some are soft, some are, are, are bru big bruises, you know, mm. you know some, are, some are not all, no, some are not all there. It's true, some are horses are not, are not all there. Some are, are they, some are, you know, no, can, can assess the surroundings. That's, all, that, that's what horses are. But if you're using footage and saying that something was there where it wasn't, that's explain. 
either way, you benefit or not, you benefit your views. That explains okay, well, the whole well, situation. Look, look I, I can concede. Okay. Put this way, put it this way, put it this, this, this way. Explain to me what is um, exploiting something. Okay, so actually, yeah, we, we will get up the the definition of exploitation. <laughs> you got six. You, uh, uh, how many computers you got? Three or four? I got, I got, I got two screens. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So exploitation. Let's have a look. Okay, so exploitation. Right. Let's have a look. Where's the? So exploitation is the act of using someone unfairly for your own advantage. So I would argue that horse racing is using someone, aka the horse, unfairly for your own advantage because. Well, but, you're, you, but you're using that situation as unfairly to be your own advantage as well. No, 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 no. This is the thing. No, no, because we're because we no because we're using, we're using it not unfairly. We're using it for the fairness of the horse. But it was false we're, information. Okay, it might have been false information. Okay, let's just, you let's, mean, just no, no, let's just say you're right. Let's say you're right. It's very important. It's very important. Okay, yeah, carry right. on, carry on. So to make sure that video, do you agree that ball whip did not touch the horse? Yeah, I already I conceded that when we were chatting at the time. Do you yep. think I've got no problem was with the that. horse was was the horse injured? The horse to me, um, I can't tell whether it's injured, but what I would say is it looked uncomfortable. It did not look like a happy horse. Right. So either way, those two facts there, right? The horse wasn't hit. The horse not injured. They are two facts okay. that you can't change. Okay, so l l let's let's say that let's, let's say let's, they're completely let, wrong. Let, 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 let you know something I don't know. Okay. Well, look. Let's say you're completely right, okay? I'm happy to yeah. say that you're totally right on that point, okay? What I would still argue, but, 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 what but, I would still but, argue but, is... But, 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 like, so, well, let me finish my point. Because uh, what I say is, but why would you say it? Why, we, why, why, you're, why you're would we say it? We, we say it? we say it because yeah. we care for the horse, which is, which is what the point I'm trying to make. What we how are... Would making, how would faking a horse's injury care for that horse? Because how we... How would faking a horse's, horse's horse being hit by a ball whip be Because the, the horse? fact it was in the race in the first place with so someone on facts. their back was exploiting so them in the first place. So you make up stories that aren't true. Can you see why people get upset? And, but, but, and, okay, and, the, the, not angry, but, 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 not angry, but upset about you guys say things that aren't true. Okay, look. Like, that, 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 that video was plainly, plainly, it's, it's, it's black and white. The video's there. Right? Okay, but the, the, this is the thing, right? This is the thing. Everyone... The board, the horse, I would say, yes, that was wrong. Yeah, but hold on. The thing is, okay, on, personally, from me, I conceded in the chat to you that I agreed with you that the whip wasn't being used. I have no problem yeah. with saying if I'm wrong or right. I have no problem with that. I'm happy. If I'm proven wrong, I'm always happy to hold up my hand and go, you know what? I was wrong. That's not a problem, okay? Um, as far as it from then on, that's not my organization, right? I, I, I go and attend their events. I, I don't run it, okay? It's not my organization. And everybody is human. People will, uh, uh, people, okay. hold on, let me finish, let me finish my point. People will make mistakes, but you've got to look at the context and the intent of that post. The intent of that post was pure care for that horse. It was concern because they thought that horse was injured. It was not done maliciously to try and just to make a point. It was done from pure like compassion for that animal because regardless whether that animal was injured or anything it looks uncomfortable in the video whether it was or it wasn't we can debate okay i, I personally thought it looked uncomfortable i can maybe include the video on on this before i publish it if people want to see for themselves and they can make up their own minds but it's like it's like you're trying to kind of demonize us for for no, no, trying no, to care no, for no. the horse but but you're completely ignoring that the horse that video only happened anyway because some human was on their back riding them around to because they thought it was fun and to make an industry money which was pure exploitation in itself never mind if the horse was injured or whipped or anything else so it seems like you're concentrating on the smaller issue to me, the bigger issue is... No, 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 no. That, that, that's the bigger issue in your, your eyes. You, you, you said the public perception is changing. It right? is. 
if it is, then you shouldn't, shouldn't need to tell things that aren't true. Well, of course we do. In that footage. Of course we do. The, the whole, like, right? for, for example, okay. the whole reason that, um, that the group ends up posting about the horses dying and all that kind of stuff is because it isn't publicised. This is the thing, like you say about when it's the Grand National and stuff, right? If you actually Google the Grand National um, deaths, they're normally very negative arguments. It's like more deaths on Grand National course, you know, people kicking off about it. The, when it comes to the small courses, they keep hush. Not everyone goes to check this British Horse Association website or whatever it is. They don't. The course should have a responsibility to the public and the people that attend to be transparent and say a horse died on a course. And if for no other reason, if the industry cares so much about their animals, why aren't they commemorated? If a jockey died, it would be everywhere. Oh my God, disaster. Poor guy. Like, shout out to his family terrible action that should never have happened when the horses die why aren't where's the memorial for the horses why isn't well, Nav- first things first first things first as you just said before humans are there above animals and humans will always get no no, no. Yeah, d- 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 just because humans are above animals that doesn't mean that we can exploit and do what we want with them we are more we are more intelligent we have more sentience but we still all have a right to not be exploited and to live our lives, like regardless whether we're, uh, uh, you know, a, a rat or a whale, you know what I mean? We, we should still have a basic right to be able to live without unnecessary harm. Would you not agree with that? So, but, but, but what you're saying is, in news-wise, animals should be the same level as human beings. No, they should just be acknowledged, if nothing else. They acknowledge. Throughout but where? And social media, trainers post when the horses have passed People away. People aren't following post. the trainers. Why aren't Newton Abbott Racecourse doing it? Explain to me why Newton Abbott Racecourse are never saying that any of their horses have died. It's, it's, a, promotional, it's a promotional post. Right. Put it this way, put it this way, would, would, would Devon Allen Save now go on their site and say, sorry, we made a mistake, but that horse was not whipped, that horse was not injured. If it was my mistake. page, if it was my page, I'd be happy to concede that, yeah. But don't. What, what, if it was but, mine. But, well, but this is last week, why have they done it? Seven days on now. Ask, ask, like, them. Month, that not, ask them. Not, not my page. I've got, I don't a message from I've got a message from them. I told, 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 told me to leave, me, leave them alone. <laughs> you know, like, so, <laughs> it, this, is, this is the thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone's different. You know, We're all individuals. Way, why doesn't Devon Avenue say put up how many horses have completed the race at Taunton or Devon or other... Or because why does that, that doesn't matter. Why does that matter? matter? Why, why would we need to advertise that horses didn't die? Like, <laughs> the, the, you know, the whole thing is... And that, and advertising is, is put in balance. No, but why, 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 why should we give balance? Why, 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 do we need, why do we need to be giving balance of that? I don't, well, racing I... racing publicises horse racing deaths through stewards reports, through Twitter. And I've seen trainers do it. I've seen lockies. I've seen, I've seen Like Irish, I say, go I've online. Seen a, stable a challenge to anyone listening. Go online, search for Bubble O'Clock, the horse that died at Newton Abbott, and see how much you can find about his death. Try it. I looked on. I looked on Twitter. The only tweet I could find was a couple of anti-horse racing people mentioning it. I couldn't find anything. But also, it also depends on what news cycles at that time. Coronavirus is a very big story. If it doesn't stop so, someone tweeting. It doesn't stop someone sending a tweet. It doesn't stop Newton Abbott Racecourse putting a tribute to a horse up to say this poor horse has passed away. None of that's so, stopping it. It so takes two seconds. Arguing, so, all, so all you're arguing there is Newt Abbott acknowledged that horse died, that died at the race course. All I'm saying is that the industry are not transparent about what happens just because they put it on one website Thank that a majority you. of people don't know about. And we've got I'm to sorry. be clear here. The majority if of people you, do not if know. You, if you publicise that website, whether you have a, you know, and if you don't know about it, the first thing I will do if I'm back in horse racing is find the governing body read all their facts and figures, find out what they do. But people don't do that, do they? It. People don't they do. do that. The general do. public don't do that. I done this. Hen- general- hence why every time we're outside, yeah. hence every time we're outside on the race course <laughs> and people speak to us, they have no idea about how many horses have died. When we speak to them, they have no idea. We've had, honestly, we've had people we speak to outside the race course and we've told them about how many people have died and they've turned away and they've left. Because they're like, oh, I didn't know that. I don't well, agree with that's, that. That's, I, I guarantee this. That's not many. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many it is. It's just the fact they don't know about it. You know, so, some some, so people, some, so some people will blindly shut it out. 
Dude, put this way, put this way. How many horses died at Taunton? I, I, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the stats for Taunton. I could probably Devon. have a look and tell Devon. you. Devon. What, seven? No. How many died at Devon and Exeter? Or Exeter, sorry. I don't know. I, I don't, I, you know, I haven't been to the Exeter so you're, so, so you're campaigning outside with Devon and Animal Save and you yourself don't know the death figures of them attacks. Do I need to? Are you saying well, that, Are you saying there's zero deaths? No. Well, there you go then. So why do I need to know the exact number? Well, I know I know there's well, deaths. Therefore, it's unethical. Therefore, the fact well, that horses are being no, ridden no, no. is unethical. If you want to do facts out and you, and, and, and you want to do things properly, you should know, you should, you know from every single... You should know the facts about... But I, I'm not... I'm not but, but I, I, I'm, hold on. I, I'm not claiming to... Put this way. Put this way. Oh, hold on, let me finish my point. I, let me finish my point. I, I'm not claiming I know all the facts for Exeter. I'm not claiming I know the facts for Devon. I'm not claiming any of that. The only facts I've told you, which are the ones I have a source for, which I can link you to all the ones, that everything I've said today, um, I've got all the links. And in fact, when I publish this, I'll put all the links yeah, in horse, the description. Horse, horse, horse Death Watch, yeah? Yeah. I know about it. Okay. But do, then, I, do, I did, do I did, do I did, as a person. What? I went on the, I went, I went on their site. I went travel went through it all i went through every bits of information mm -hmm. if you want to learn things that's what you do of course if the public you know you're, you're what you're trying to say is you're trying to force the media to push this on people when people probably are already made that made their mind up i'm i'm, way, I'm as asking as, the media as, as, as to as be say, open say, and transparent when biggest, animals die on wait, their wait, courses exactly exactly what, what's wrong with that what's wrong with that actually no, answer, no, no, no. answer that question what, what is wrong what is wrong with asking Newton Abbott Racecourse to post when horses die on their course. What is wrong with that? Surely that is doing a public service to let people know that a horse has passed away on their course. I see no reason they shouldn't be able to do that. What possible it's reason can't, can't they do that? Just, just like you want to um, It's a publicity the page for their course. Life. If a jockey died, would they post that? Yes. If a jockey died, would Newton no, Abbott no, no. no. They wouldn't? No. So Newton Abbott have never posted that a jockey's died, ever. No, I don't believe so. Okay, is that or just, injured? It, or injured? Do jockeys get injured all the time? Are they post any 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 uh, information about jockeys getting injured? Well, I don't know. I don't check the page enough to to write. That's what I'm asking you. Have they ever posted about any? Oh, I'm going to have a look to see. You know, uh, Facebook or Twitter. Oh, I'm looking. I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to see on the <laughs> on the Newton Abbott uh, Facebook if there's anything. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I don't even know if any jockeys have died on Newton Abbott, so I wouldn't be able to confirm if. No, get injured, injured, well, injured, injuries as well. You know, it's as I say, it's a promotional. It's a promotional page, right? All, all the information from these race courses, who are owned by a Jockey Club, who own a Jockey Club with the BHA, are published on the BHA page. Now, maybe if you want to share the link to the BHA page and show and tell people at, at uh, your protest, go and check this site. Up. But but why why, ca why can't Newton Abbott oh, post? But well, hold on, Newton Abbott. Okay, one thing they do do is they will post the results of the race, correct? They'll post who won. Yeah. Anything. Okay, so what would stop them to post a list of all the horses that took part in that race with their positions, including any that fell and died or got injured? What would stop them doing that? What would be the problem? Well, first things first, not a problem. But it's a exactly, but page. they're not doing it. You know, did you, post, did you post about human beings dying on a race course or getting injured? No, because you don't. Right? It's like, yeah, yeah, but the, but the thing is, page. but the thing is, we're, we're a page, we're a page all for the horses. The Newton Abbott is about horse shit. racing. They should all, be posting everything. All the facts from, all the facts from Newton Abbott on race courses go to the BHA and they publish statistics. That's where Amelaide get their ish, their stuff from. Now you're happy to get Amelaide leaflet out and hand out in front of race courses. Mm -hmm. You're going there. We don't, you ain't willing to go hand, go, 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 go BHA website and go and print off information and hand it out to people in front of the gate. It's that information. What do you why, mean? What, what do you mean? Why, print off what from the from the BHA? What print off what exactly? They got they got last 20, 20, 20 year lists of um of deaths on there. I mean, but why why would we print it from the? I mean, we I, I'd happily print it from well, the BHA because it, well, if well, anything, well, that strengthens well, our well, argument. Sorry. <laughs> so it shows the percentage of, 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 of death rates kind of thing. Why don't you print that off and give it to the people? I, I, will, I would gladly do that. If I can, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, that's actually more evidence because I can say this is actually from the Horse Racing Association proving the deaths rather than from a no, website. More evidence. So, so basically, BHA are doing more information 
on their public site you have to pay for, then Amoled you hand out and then you say they're secretive. No, but this is the thing, right? They, they add it in with all their statistics and stuff, but it is not highlighted. It's not highlighted. They it's haven't said... Why, why, why isn't there a post, right? If a, jo- if a jockey died, okay, everyone would be, oh my God, this jockey's died. Chris, Chris, I'll give you some information, right? I, I, I had to break this to you. Right. right. People find people more important than animals. They might do, but this, but this is the thing. Right. Th- th- this kind of proves okay. my point. This proves my point that the animals are obviously not as much, they're not that important because, you know, some, you, so, some, people, some people will that. post you, on Facebook when their dog dies. Hold on. Some people post on Facebook when their dog dies. So why on earth are people not filling people in when this beloved horse has passed away? Surely it should be devastating news to the entire industry in the fact that they would put up and say thank you to this horse because without these horses our industry would be nothing but no we get radio silence except from this one website Uh, and an odd tweet hang on on. that ain't the horse racing fault that's that that, that's the radios and the news company's fault no. They don't want to follow it. The, re- the reason why they don't print these news articles out or say anything about it, right, is because people, right, with all due respect to animals, don't think animals should be up their same level as human beings. They don't need I, to be. I, I'll go back to the Grand National thing. Again. I'll go back to the Grand National again. The Grand National had bad press, 2011, 2012, front pages. The following year, what happened? You, you wanted it. Amelaide wanted it. Their front page, their articles throughout the week about change, this and that. Yeah. The following year, what happened? Attendance, exactly the same. More people, the same amount of people watched the race. Had no difference. But it doesn't so matter. It doesn't, so, it doesn't so, matter. No, no, no. Amelaide's campaign is to get rid of, Grand Na- of the Grand National. Right? I know about them. They have Horse Racing Awareness Week during, during Channel Festival. They get a lot of publicity there on radios, on TV. Guess what? It's still packed out because people have made but the a thing personal is, the, judgment. But, but the thing is, that doesn't... People have made a personal judgment. Hold on. Judgment. Again, oh, that, is, that is just what is known as an appeal to popularity argument. You're claiming that it's all okay because the majority think it's okay. That is not a valid argument. Just because the you know, a, a large percentage think something is okay, that doesn't mean it's moral. That just means no, a, a large amount of that. people do. Okay. They just had two years of bad publicity with, with, with the Grand National. And just because That's there's no... That's what Amelaide, yeah, Amelaide wanted. I know, but right? and they just because there's radio, no effect... They want TV, but still had no impact. It doesn't matter. That it doesn't matter. the point of it. No, but the, the thing is, that the point of that doesn't still mean that horse racing is any more ethical because it hasn't changed. It just means that not just enough... Maybe. It just means not enough is being done. That's all it means. It means that the activists themselves need to up their game and we need to do more because clearly it's what we're doing isn't enough. That's all it says. Just maybe the public have made an educated choice to think, yes, there are risks, but we see how the horse is looked after. We've been to to the stables. Lambourne Open Day. Most people have never been to stables. Most people have never been to stables. Most people I know that go to horse racing, they go to it because it's a good piss up on a sunny day. They have no, like, uh, and don't even try to deny that because we see the amount of coaches of pissed up lads that come into the horse racing, right? <laughs> well, we see that on a regular basis, okay? It's not all horse racing fanatics and stuff like that. It is a fun day out for people to go and get drunk and play some bets and make some money. Yes, I agree. I agree with that. There are people who go there for a piss up. Yeah, but but again, they still come back. And by the way, if you go to Nunavut on a Wednesday, regular piss up people, they're getting genuinely National Hunt racing fans. If you go to Ludlow, Cheltenham Festival, right, the vast majority of there are genuine jump racing fans. Oh, no, but this is the thing, right? And I've got I've got to make this point: is regardless of all of this. This doesn't make it more ethical at all. This doesn't affect that it's any more okay than it was previously. It just means that there are still people supporting it, that the activism that's being done isn't enough to change public perception. But that doesn't mean that we should stop and not continue to try and fight for the rights of these animals to not be exploited. It just means that not enough is being done. 
the actual, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the ethicalness of horse racing has remained static for this entire argument. It's never been any, it's, still, it's always been unethical. It, it may be uh, less unethical. Yeah, so carry on. What were we going right. to say? You're fighting. You're, you're fighting to ban racing to get rid of horse racing and extinct them. That's what you're trying to do. And you admit that you don't. You won't bother if they if 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 if, if they don't breed and they go extinct. So your mantra is you ban racing, right? We don't care if the horse races or whole horses go going go, that that breed goes extinct. It's gone. Um, yeah, and, and that, for for the pure that, reason that is, that is your view. I, and and just just to add the context to that. Um, because they are man-made domestic animals that have never existed in the wild. They play no part in any sort of conservation towards um, wild horses in any way and could never be released into the wild. If all thoroughbred horses died out, horses would still exist, and we, we should be putting our efforts into protecting the wild species, not breeding a species that will continually, for eternity, remain in captivity and at the exploitation of human beings. How that's that's what I would say. Wild, how do you protect wild horses? Well, for example, for example, said, for example, trying breed. to protect the land, breed. protect the land. For example, make sure there's no development on the it's land. Not land. It's not their land. Like, but it's not our land either. Land. It's not our land either. What? Who who owns the land? Well, no, well, basically, as I said, buying who land, owns the land, buying land is a human construct. The land belongs realistically to nobody. We have just made it up. That you can buy this bit of land, you can buy this bit of land, you can buy this bit of land. It's a human construct. That's all it is. We've invented it. It doesn't mean anything to to the rest of the the living beings on this planet. It means nothing. They, they don't follow our why rules. Is secure, why secure horses? Why is secure horse in the world? Because they why would die. Pay money to live with because it? they would die. Because they're domestic horses. But wait, but, but that, that's too too less horse to worry about. Less less less, less breeding will take place if you. Yeah, but the, case. yeah, but yeah, but yeah, hold on, but, 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 place, but and that means you could see the goal. But no, but the thing is, it would be unethical just to end just, their life when they have a will to live, correct? So, so wouldn't it be better to let them live out and, and, and then and, die and, and, and then and, and then not breed anymore? Surely that would be the nicer thing to do for them. Just but let the, let them die. On naturally. their dying, on their death, you don't have you have a personal. You know, for example, if they get ill. Who makes decision to kill them? Yeah, but this is the thing. You're doing okay. that from you're doing that from kindness. You're doing that because you care for them and you don't want them to suffer. That's very different. Very, very different. That's not just killing well, them. You know, that, 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 that's that's trying to give them a dignified death in the same way that some people will travel to, um, you know, the the assisted suicide places and everything to to be killed because they they don't want to suffer and they want a dignified death. We're trying to help them. Again. Sorry, We're not, you're going again. Oh, sorry, can you hear me now? Uh, am I back? Uh, hello? Am I there? Helping thoroughbred racehorse. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry, I, I couldn't oh, hear you. you, you, you <laughs> so you, carry on, what, what were you saying? You, you broke yeah, up. Okay, carry yeah. on. Yeah. To help so, thoroughbred racehorses, you're not helping them by trying to extinct them. That's not help. The, the, that's the, help. Well, how is it helping them? Well, how is it helping well, them? Well, wait, wait, wait. How is it helping them? to continually breed this species of animal to be at the will of humans for all eternity. How does that help them? <laughs> at, the will of, at the will of humans, the vast and race horses are looked after very well at state training stables. But that doesn't matter. do not die on race courses. It doesn't matter how well they're looked after. It doesn't matter. Keeping another right. living being, right. keeping another living being in itself is unethical. We, we, we've already discovered that keeping other humans is unethical. Because they have a will to live and they're individuals. In the same way animals oh. are individuals. So we shouldn't be. We can help them. Helping them is different. But actually breeding how them is, how into is existence. Helping, how is helping all the horses in the country where you want to get rid of every single sport, every yeah. single yeah. activity, and that's it, helping the species of a horse? Because those oh, horses, those horses are born into exploitation. They are born into an unethical system where they will be used by humans. And uh, you know, think who about it. Think about it. Think, think, well, hold on. Think about well. think about the life saying? of a horse. Think about the life. You're saying. Hold you're on. Base your saying. Hang on. You base your saying. Should ban all pet owning, are you? No, I, no I, I would do that also. I'm actually making a documentary about the pet trade, 
and I, 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 I could watch take. That. Watch that. <laughs> yeah, well, when it's out, I'll let, I'll, I'll let you know. No, no, but a, a, again, um, domestic cats and dogs are man-made animals. There has never been a wild pug. There's never been a wild Jack Russell. There's never been a wild Labrador. None of these animals exist. Some of them actually suffer greatly because of the breeding we've done to them. For example, like I said about earlier about the pug, it has breathing problems. It can have uh, problems with their, their joints and stuff because of the interbreeding that we've done with them. If all of those animals were allowed to die out, their cats would still exist. Dogs would still exist. Until but in... But in uh, yeah, but in their natural form as they were meant to be and living where they should be. And those are the ones that we should be concentrating on, not the ones that we've developed for our own gain. Because that's all they're there for. We're not helping them, really. We you help know. them stay alive. Yeah, but, but we sh they, never, they never should have been born you're, in the first you're, place. You're, you're helping to extinct them. Yeah, but they shouldn't have been born in the first place. They shouldn't have been born in the first place? No. They, should, they shouldn't have been born because they were born to be used for humans. That, that's wrong. That's completely wrong. They should ne these animals should never have been bred. They're, so not, they're, they're not breeding naturally. You, you, you're not, you... Basically, ba ba basically I do, I do world is you say wild animals, fine. Horses go. Pets go. The whole lot goes, apart from wild animals. That's what, that, that, that is your policy. That is your um, belief. Yeah, in a nutshell, I would say domestic species should never have been here in the first place. Um, it's unethical to be no, 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 keeping no, no, no. no I think th this is verifying what you said. You're, you're in charge. I'm verifying what you said. I'm verifying right. what you said. I agree with what you said. But what I'm doing is just giving the context in that, yes, I totally agree. Domestic species were bred by humans for our purposes, for, for us, not for them. If those species died out, I have no issue with it as long as they are looked after while they are here as long as they die like you know if, as long as we can allow them where possible to live out their entire lives and have the best life that we can give them and then we should be concentrating on the actual species the wild animals which are being screwed over immensely by the fact that there are more domestic animals than there are wild animals which is insane put it this way put it this way is that plan realistic? It's not something that you can do overnight, but it's not something that is unrealistic yeah. if we want it. But yeah, we but have to Chris, want it. Chris, Chris, it's not going to happen. I, I said, no, you, the, it won't happen. The, 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 only, the only thing stopping it happen is having, an, is basically choosing for it not to happen. If every single person to, made a decision in the way that a lot of us have and go, you know, that, that's the world that we wish we had. That's the world that we should have and not just go, I'm going to hang on to this because I like it. It's a tradition. People are making money. Then we could have it. The only That's thing so stopping it, the only thing stopping it is humans. The only thing is right. our own see selfishness. Again. See again, making money. The vast majority of people don't make money okay. in the race. Owners. Take money out of it then. Take, doesn't matter. Take money out of it. It's not, it's, those bits there aren't, aren't relevant. You can't, wait, you can't bet in uh, Dubai. On, that's on fine racing. that's fine it doesn't matter right. the, the money that you can take the money completely out of what i said and what i said still stands what i said still stands yeah. the only reason that we cannot do this is because people are choosing not to because they want to be entertained by horse racing because they like but it either, that is the reason but either but either your, but either your facts are this right even phased phased over five years of horse racing right you keep saying one death is too much, but you'll be happy to see those horses die, right? To achieve your gain of extinction of a, of a, race, of a race horse. You would rather okay. that happen than have pe horses, horses live. Well, put it right? this way, okay? Put it this way. Just say, okay, let's just say the, I don't know, say 30% of all the horses, when it comes to it, end up going to slaughter and the, the other lot get homes, right? So 30% of the horses had to be had to be put down right if we look at that looking forward into the future and we then recognize that every single year that um you know in Austra in, in the us 100,000 horses are no longer dying that we're no longer in the uk getting that 153 deaths a year and that goes on and 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 we know that that cycle of exploitation and horses dying is finished forever 
that's a better outcome still than continue it but, and continuing but policy, to have but, but, but your policy will cost lives the thing is it would co- it would still cost less lives than continuing no no no, it. no 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 your policy will cost horses lives okay but yeah, let's, let's just say it does it's still the lesser of two evils no it's not of course it is there will be less lives lost than if we continue if we continue, we get 100,000 horses die every single year in, in America. We get X amount of horses die in the UK. We get X amount of horses die. You stop the cycle, you get zero. The year after, zero. But Chris, one is too many. And the thing is... Out of your own mouth. One, if one is too many, but in your view, only your view... No, other people agree with your view. I'm not saying people... No. One is too many... But that's what it is. Okay, too many, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One is too many, but... Let's think, about this, think about if this was humans, right? If this was humans, right? Loads of humans, look, we've got, look, let's say we've got loads of humans and they've all been captured and everything and we're using them unethically for a sport, right? And we're breeding them and everything and we're breeding all that. Would you honestly turn around and say, we shouldn't finish this, we should keep exploiting them because some humans may end up dead if we stop? Are you going to say... Must- we? Are you going to say exploited? Humans are exploited. No, no, no. Hold on. Again, no, hold on. Answer again, the question. Answer. The, no, don't, don't avoid no, the question. No, Would you? No, not with a question. You're, you're putting something in humans that has, again. You're doing it again. You're putting something out there that isn't realistic. It doesn't. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It, that yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter. Saying, I'm asking about your ethics. I'm asking about your. Hold on. I'm asking. No, wait, 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 wait. I don't know. If, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but you, uh, within debate, you can use hypotheticals to show whether someone's opinion is logically consistent. Okay, this is a standard thing in philosophical and uh, debates to do and everything. You can use different scenarios to explain. So my, my explanation is, is all I'm doing is changing the horses to humans. And I would, I'm asking whether you would then approve of exactly what you're advocating for you now. Would you say that we should continue the exploitation of humans just because a few may die at the end of it? Because the thing is, if you say that, no, we should stop it, you actually as holding a hypocritical view because you're proposing that it's okay to do it to horses but it's not okay to do it if it was humans and unless you can actually name a difference between the horses and the humans it would actually mean that there's a reason we can do that you're actually holding a double standard oh, f- f- first is first there are exploitations of human beings in the, co- in the world there are yeah okay so, so would right? you would so, you would, so, you, would so, you agree so, that we should continue those unethical acts right forever Rather than stopping it, and maybe a, 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 a maybe a few die. A human being, it doesn't mean it's death. It means stopping something or exploiting. Oh, it could oh, do. Example, it could slave do. trade, modern day, modern day slave trade. Yes. Not kill people. Some sla- to stop it. No. That, 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 that's going to improve their lives. Not making extinct, is it? Not getting extinct human beings, are you? Would you? No, wait, wait, would, wait. You extinct, would you extinct human beings so animals could be better off in this world? Okay, hold on then. Hold on. Let, let, let's, let's, as a as a as a, uh, let's, let's, as a hypothetical question, would you extinct human beings so animals would be better off in this world? No, but that's not the question that we're answering. Why would I no, extinct no, no, human? No, but you know, you're saying. Okay, how about saying, this? How about this? Okay, if, okay, okay, if there was a species, no, hold on, no, I can answer no, it. I can answer. No, let me answer. No, let me answer. No, no, no. Let about, me answer. I'm going to answer your question. Certain... I want to answer your question. If there was a species of human that was being exploited in the same way and. The, uh, um, letting that species of human die out in order so no other humans of that species would ever be harmed again, I would choose for a few to die for those humans never to be exploited again because continuing to exploit them year after year for eternity is highly unethical and highly immoral to do. So yes, yes. It's different, it's different situation. How? Tell me how it's different. How? Tell me how it's one different. Thing, one thing, horses rely on humans. Furbed race would right. rely on humans. The, they can't the, go wild. The, the, these slave humans would also rely on humans as well. No, if you stop, stop slave trade, do they, will, 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 will the people in the slave trade die? What do you mean, would all people in the slave trade die? But, no, they won't, will they? No, but no, I, I'm saying if, 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 if it was the same situation, I don't think you're understanding the hypothetical. I'm saying if there was a subsection of humans that were in the same situation as horses, and if they were not bred into existence to do their job, that that species of human just say we had a subspecies of human would die out because of it there is no way on earth that you would say let's continue it because a few might die if we stop it no I w- in fact i would actually try and prove it 
not 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 just not just so so so, so, so you would, but, but, but what you've just said there is you would continue to allow humans to be exploited by other humans just in a nicer way no, sure, surely exploitation I, in no, itself is wrong no. killing off a species is different exploiting a human now, you know you know difference it's a massive difference again you 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 you're putting humans and animals on a level playing field. No, uh, They're not a living level playing yeah, but, okay, field. Okay, th- so what is the difference? Name, name one instance. No, wait, wait what is the difference? Animals on a level, pl- level playing field as humans. I never said they are, but here we go. Name the there difference. Go, hold on, hold on, hold on. A, a question for you, a question for you. As animal together, well, they're not actually, not actually. Uh, I've got a question. Name what? the difference between humans and animals that if you applied that difference back to a human, would mean it's okay to treat us in the same way as a horse. What is it about a horse that means we can exploit them in a way that we would never do to a human? What is that? What is that thing? What is it? They are animals. Okay, they so, are, so okay, so they're animals. animals. Right? So are humans. They, so are they, humans. So are humans. Lion, so are, are humans. We, we are main species in this in this world. The, right? self pro- self-proclaimed. Are nowhere near self-proclaimed. The, the amount of same same level as humans. Okay, so your argument. So your argument wants, is your argument wants, is might is right. Is, that is what you're saying. You're saying animals should be same level as humans. No, nope, I haven't said do that. Do not have a choice of that. Hold on, you, you're not. You haven't answered my question. You, what you're currently suggesting is because we are higher up the the ladder, so to speak, that that yeah. then justifies that we can exploit whatever we want. That is no, a, you're, that, putting, you're putting hypotheticals way out there. No, I'm not talking about hypotheticals well, now. No, I'm no, talking no, about is, simple it is, things. It is a hypothetical. This well, isn't a hypothetical. Like, no, this is, this is, is, this is basic it is, fact. It is. No, it's well, asking what the difference between a human and a horse is is not hypothetical. What's the difference between a human... I, I can put it this way. What's the difference between a human and an animal? Uh, well, we, 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 we are animals. We are animals. Do animals look, we are animals. Humans are animals. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Speak different kind of thing. You know, yeah, that's me. So, okay. So again, so, so again, name the difference. Right. What's so, the difference between a horse and a human? Which means it's okay to exploit a horse, so it's not okay to exploit a human. Right. What's the difference? For, for, for example, horse racing, I believe, is good for horse and not exploiting the horse. Horse live happy lives, and that's where our opinion disagrees. No, wait, wait, wait. But, but you would what, not agree what, to a what human. What I'm saying is, you're put, trying to put your beliefs and your no, ideas no, no. in my head. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not, Matt. You're not following. You're not following. Not, ev- not everyone in the world believes. What no, no, Chris you're not following. Says. You're not following. Not everyone believes what I say. Everyone has different opinions and different hypotheticals. No, Matt, Matt, you're not following. Answer. You're not following what I'm saying. You're not following what I'm saying. I'm asking your opinion. I'm not stating my opinion. I'm asking your opinion on what is the difference between a horse and a human in the way that we are allowed to exploit the horse because we are your opinion exploitation is that's your opinion Ex- that is not everyone's opinion if everyone's opinion for a horse will explo- ex- exploitation okay ex- exploitation hold on Matt, have different Matt, exploitation Matt, if we animal, treated animal, if we treated people exploit ex- hold on. Ex- exploit animals hold on not for hold on gain, Matt, Matt. Not, not for monetary gain but for personal for, 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 for gain or their own beliefs Matt, okay do, 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 hold on hold on okay look i just, I just want to make sure we're, we're, we're clear here so would you then, if you don't think well, it's... In a, a hold on, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Ma- Ma- Chris, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Right. Let me talk. Let me talk. Right. So if you don't think horse racing is exploitative, would you agree to the same treatment towards humans? Is that exploitative or is that okay? Just to get to simple yes or no. Well, it depends what exploitation is. No, no, no. The, you know, if there's humans, if tra- no, if humans are treated in the same way they, as we treat the horse, not. no, Chris, it doesn't matter. It doesn't not. matter whether they are. Stop it, making comparisons. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not even comparing it. I'm asking you. I haven't said they are. I haven't said they are. Yeah, I'm asking you. You say try and treat the horses that are the same as humans. The animals need the human beings. Hold on. I'm asking you. I'm asking you a simple question. And you, which you, you're, no, you're, you're kind of avoiding. No, I'm no, asking no, you. No. I'm asking you. Question, would you agree? Right. Would you agree? You know it isn't right. You put 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 other questions. Put this way, right? The question. Matt, you're you're avo- you're avoiding well, the question. I'm sorry. No, no, you you no, are no, avoiding no, it no, here. Question, you're not listening to what I'm saying. It's, it's nonsense. You're you're no 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 no. Saying animals are below human beings. They used to bring the animals up to human beings. No, I haven't said that either. I haven't said that either. This is what I mean. This is what you're not following. You're not following. I humans and animals to me are. Um, have different value because we have different levels of sentience. So I experience the world in a lot more 
like you know, in a in a, a brighter way than maybe a horse does or a rat does. So we are in that way, in a level of sentience, we are we are different. Okay, we have lots of other differences as well. Obviously, you know, I don't have fur, I don't have hooves, I don't have you know a lot of other things. We have differences. We're not the same. But but. Put but, this way. but does you, the, let does me finish the my horse point. You have not, a choice. Does, does an animal have a choice? Wait, you're not letting me finish my point. Down? You're not letting me finish my point. You're not does letting that, me finish does, my does, point. Does a horse? Does, Matt, does, you're does, not letting does, me finish my point. Animal, go on, finish my point. Go on. Okay, but my point is, what we need to look at is the similarities, not our differences. The sim similarities. The, the, the similarities are that we are both sentient beings. We both do experience the world. We can both feel pain. We can both experience well-being those are the things that we have in common and those are the things that are important the other differences are arbitrary you know it doesn't matter whether they've got fur or they've got hooves or they can't speak our language or anything like that they still experience in the world and they still experience pain suffering or you know joy happiness those basic emotions so all i'm asking is is what is the real difference that makes the difference? What is it about these animals that means that we can do things that we would never approve of if we did them to a human? If we, if we decided to breed humans and ride them, we would never ever approve of that. So why is it okay to do it to a horse? So all I was asking but you is, Chris, what is the difference? Chris, why again, is that? Why breed humans to ride them? Why what breed Why mean? breed horses to ride them? Right. See that you can what? ask the keep, same question keep, back. Keep, no, no, to keep the species going because you want to, you want to get rid of the species. You're of, not breeding the breed, them the just breed, to keep the, the species going though. You, hold on, you, you, hold on. You're, you're, you're not. Admitted you want to get rid of the species. Wait, wait, the wait, Matt. Wait, all you, of them. Hold on, wait, pets, wait, 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 wait. You are not breeding horse race uh, race horses to just keep the species going. That isn't the that isn't the reason that it's being done. It's something you're including within your argument, but the it's reason part of the argument. Exactly, but the reason you're right. breeding them, the reason is the actual reason is that you want to use the horse for the purpose of racing. That is the actual reason. Without that, Rich if we took horses have very good lives. But hold, hold on. If we took that out of the way, picture, way, hold on, Matt, way. Matt, hold on. Please, no, if no, we no, took no, that no, out of the picture. Question. Do you think your horse in the field have a better life than a racehorse? Um, I have no idea. No, no, no. I mean, they, I mean, no, no, no. Hi, 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 see now. Hi, oh, what did they have a better life? Do your horses have right. a better life than a racehorse? Um, I mean, potentially, potentially you not. Actually, potentially, you can't actually yes or no, can you? This no, because, I, because it depends what racehorse. Every horse is different. Every horse is kept differently. It's not like a. There's not a standard that everything's, everyone's kept at, is there? No, like. So, Sorry, sorry. I mean, they're, they're given free. They're, they're given as much freedom as they can be given. They're given the, the the run of the fields. We don't mess with them. We let them get on with their lives. If they're sick, we look after them. If they need food, we feed them. If they need cleaning out, they get cleaned. I mean, what else can we... What else do we need well, to be I'm doing saying, with them? Saying, that was a hypothetical question, but you can't answer it. Yeah, but I kind of just did. I just said it depends, no, it depends on the horse. That's the question. Is your horse... Your two horses. Okay, actually, no. Actually, I will actually say yes. And here's why. Because those horses will never ever be put into a position of danger uh, intentionally at any point. They will be let out into you know, where they are. We will not mess with them. We will not sit on their back. We will not force them to run. We will not get them to jump over things. We will allow them to make all of their own decisions, except when it is within their best interest to do so, such as whether if they need to go back in, whether they need to be looked at for a medical reason. Their life is theirs as much as we can possibly you're give them. you having imprints on their life. Oh, yeah, people we are. Race, of course we are. Of course we are. People have input on racehorses and they think they're doing the best efforts and responsibilities on the racehorses. But, but they're, they're, but they're doing a lot. Looking after them. Hold on, but they're, not, doing, they're doing things to the horses not, that the horses not, don't require. Only the racing industry require them. The horse don't need all this training. They don't need people on their back. They don't need any of this. The only people that need that are the people who own the horse. The horse itself would be perfectly happy just getting on with its life. <laughs> it doesn't need all the rest of this stuff, does well, it? 
get a life went extinct. It's but, a main. It's a main. What do you mean? It's, do you think the horse even has a concept of being extinct? Do you think the horse has a concept? It's your horses, your healthy selves, right? Right. You don't want them horses at all, do you? Like in life, they're not, they're not breed. They'll be gone. I, I, can't walk, you can't live well. Can't no. I want them. I want them to live out the best life that they can, and then when they pass, they've had a good life, and yeah, so that's that's all, that's all we owe them. People, that's all they no, need. I guarantee you this: the people who look after horse and stables are there every single day. Yeah, they are. I'm not denying that. Hours. I'm not denying they that. They spend more hours with their horses than yours. Maybe they do, but th- th- okay. Here's a question. Here's a question. Here's a question. Hold on. Here's a question. Laugh, but, Hold on, Here's, the, hold on, this is a point, coats. Matt, this is an important question, pain. this is an important question, does a horse need human interaction? Yes. No, it doesn't, they're a horse. Wild horses don't they need, wild, wild, horses, wild horses don't need you, humans visiting you, you, them. You haven't formed a bond with your horses. You, no, think point there, no, you, you can have a bond with them. You can, bonds. you can make a bond. Yeah, you That's can. That's why you see horses. They, horses are stable, lads and lasses. Hold on. So pictures of the horse licking the ear. Having, having no, a they bond. can. They can. No, hold on. They can. I agree. But they don't require that. Like wild horses don't require us making friends with them. They get on with their lives. If you don't have horse racing, under your beliefs, those horses down the line will not be allowed to breed. Yeah. And it will be extinct. But horses will not. Horses will still exist. Correct? Okay, correct. A simple answer. If all horse racing finished and all horse racing horses died out, would horses still exist? Well, yes or no? Put, put, put this way. Put no, this yes way. or no? Simple answer. No, would, no, no. Would... Some horses will exist, yeah. Exactly. So horses aren't extinct. So what's the problem? No, no, no. Race horses will be Yeah, but they're not... But they're, they're a... Like I said, they're a man-made plans, species. We're going around in circles. Plans, they're a man-made you're species. In charge. You're in charge of the horse breed. You're in charge of right, your charge. Yeah, but they never should have existed in the first like, place. They're unnatural species that should have never existed. Horses have no concept that that man-made species is going extinct. They don't care. They will not cry because care. thoroughbreds... We care. Exactly. We you horses. care. Nothing yes. to do with the horses. You oh, care. No, 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 we care. Horses don't we... care. Horses don't care. No, the, horse, sure. the horses aren't going to care if horses, thoroughbreds die out. Horses are so intelligent, they know when human beings are very sick. No, wait, 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 wait. No, hold on. Concept of it. No, Matt. Race. No, no, no. Are no, horses, no. Are horses no. around the world going to be sad because the thoroughbred species has been extinct? Will you be sad? Will I be sad? Um, No, not particularly. I'll be happy that they're not being exploited anymore. Be happy that... Again, I come to the point. Because there's still horses in the world. One, and I'm one, like, horses aren't extinct. No, 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 there's no, some horses no, no. over there. No, no, Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> not to my racing. You said you know, should have no, 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 no show jumping or dressage or this or that. Yeah, anything. Can, that horse, any can, that, can, can, horse can they horse live in the world as well? No, they can't. They should all die out too. Them. They should all die out as well. All of them. Die out as well. Right, of course. So, every horse, so, but... Every said, hold on, every I'm going to make it clear to people who watch this. No, every no, 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 domestic no, 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 horse, no, 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 every domestic horse should die out because horses still exist in the world. No, and even if every no, domestic horse died, horses would still exist. No, horses no, will no. not go extinct. Horse, horse, I'm not I'm saying horse will get extinct. I'm talking about thoroughbred race. Exactly, which are a man-made. Wait. This is what uh, Matt. This is what you're not getting. Thoroughbred wait, animals wait, wait, wait. are man-made animals. Yeah. They are not wild animals. animals. Not They're not natural. After, which you can't accept. You're I can accept they're looked after, but they shouldn't have existed You've in the not first place. Being to a stables. How can you form an opinion how they're looked after? I haven't said they're not looked after. Matt, have I said they're not looked after? Where have I said they're not looked after at any point in this well, thing? They're looked after. What's, 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 what's the issue? Because they shouldn't exist in the first place because they're, the animals should not be bred to go into an existence where they're owned by humans. So you would... <laughs> That's what's happening. Are you denying that's what's happening? Are you denying well, that's what's happening? Well, human beings breed. You're telling yep. you human beings breed, would you? Yeah, but humans are breeding because we breed and it's our own species. We shouldn't do be plant, breeding yes. another do species. Do you plan to have kids? I don't know. If I did, I would adopt. Adopt? Yeah, because there's enough right. people, there's enough kids in the world at the moment that don't have homes and I'd rather give the ones that do need a home a home rather than bring another child into the world. That's just my personal opinion. That's what I... To perfectly honest, that's a very good... Um, answer because you're right there there are a lot of children who are who need families and uh i mean a partner would look would like to adopt yeah. but well, uh, well let me, let me use that adoption so can, I, can i use that adoption example towards horses why do you think we should be putting so much effort into this species that has been man-made and altered when we are not even looking after the actual wild horses that are here and meant to be here don't you think we should be putting our effort into them and not putting effort into horses that we keep continually breeding into existence. Don't you think that's... 
Chris, Chris, how many wild horses do we have in this country? Not a lot. And do you know why that is? Because we've killed them. Right. Okay. We've, no, I, we've I, caused I, that. No. We've caused that. Right. We so need to correct that. Horses, right? No. So you got rid of racing. You got rid of all the horses. Mm -hmm. what's, what's a guarantee these horses will be still alive or be still killing them? What, what do you mean? The wild horses? Yeah. What's because, a guarantee that they'll be still alive? Because we should be looking after. That's what we should be yeah, doing. But, yeah, but in a realistic world, you're not going to go, oh, Ban racing. Oh, hold on a minute. Else, hold on a minute. Pets, but we'll keep our, keep, hold on, hold, hold on a minute. Going. Hold on a minute. Right. right. The horse racing industry is built on horses. So why would the horse racing industry, if it didn't exist, not try and support the welfare and well-being of wild horses when horses are literally their life? Surely that is the thing that they would want to support. They do already. Do you okay. Think then they'll continue hang to on, do hang so. On, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me finish. Do you think... People in racing only have other race horses. They no, have I didn't say other that. ponies, other things. They adopt. They do this. They've they do. Got no. cats, got cat dogs. Do you think they do? All they do is breed, breed, breed. No, I, I, I never said people that. People who care about their animals. Oh no, the thing is, I'm not, not denying horse. that. I'm not denying. I, I, I'm not denying yeah. that there are people out right. there that have got horses that have been adopted. That have I'm not lots. denying that. I'm not it's, denying it's, that. There's, there's, there's thousands of people out there. The problem is, there is. The problem is, you don't search for that. I, I, I don't need to because I agree this. with that. I agree with adopting. Adopting's fine. If there's a, if there's an it, all the animals that are here right now, we have a moral duty to look after. We have to. We've brought them into this into this world. We should look after them. So I've got no issues whatsoever with people adopting animals that need homes. I've got no issues with that whatsoever. Where I've got issue is supporting an industry that continues to bring these animals into the world because it causes more and more and more and more issues. Well, well what we should but be that doing... That is your opinion. That's a and fact. It's Even wait, wait, you've no, said no, that there no, too no, many horses are being no, breeding no, and there's problems. No, too, too, wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on a second. You've, you've agreed right? to that. You said, no, you said there's too no, much breeding. Have you not? You said there's too much breeding and animals are... Years ago. Years ago, yes, but now it's falling. <laughs> So when, so when you hand a leaflet out for Amelie saying over the 50 years, Breen's been out, gone, 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 gone scaling out, scaling out control, actually Breen's fallen of, of race horses. It might have fallen, but don't you think that the best thing to do would be to not breed any at all, considering we can't even look after all the ones that are here as it is? Breed any, what, what, what do you mean? We can't even look after all the so, horses. So, so, what, small occurrence, we stop every what, person in this country, stop breeding. Wait, okay. No, 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 no. As, 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 as like linked to human beings, would yep. you bring a policy that every single family should stop having babies until every single kid is adopted? Um, personally, I think that would be a damn good idea. And that would, that, that would be the more... Realistic. That, no, no, it's not realistic. It's not, it's not realistic. I like to win a million pounds on the lottery. Hold on. It's not realistic. Wait, 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 wait. I like to own, own a mansion. Wait, Matt, it's not realistic. Matt, hold on, hold on. Okay, but what you cannot argue with is that would actually be the moral thing to do if we actually cared. Would it not? No, 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 Wouldn't that be no, the no, best no, no, thing no. for us to do? Say it again. Moral thing no, answer doing. that question because you're kind wait, of avoiding wait, that. Wait, would you wait, agree no, no, that that no, is the better no. thing that we should be doing? doesn't matter whether it's possible. Realistically, if we no, care, if we care, because that's what we should do. You can't in implement something that is impossible. doesn't matter if it's implemented. doesn't matter. I'm not asking that. I'm asking, is that realistically... Is it? Is, is that it the more moral thing possible? that we should be possible? doing? Doesn't matter. Whether it, I'm not asking that. I'm not asking that. No, I'm, no, no. I'm not. I'm not doing hyperbolic questions. Is it possible? Is it possible? Chances are no. I'm going to say no. Right. But so move on. but hold on. No, There's no, no. Because no, you need to answer There's the no question. Points. No. There's you, no you, points. No, there is. There's no point answer no, the question. No, there is because regardless whether it's possible or impossible, which to be honest we don't know because we've never tried it okay it could be possible could it be difficult yes i'm not denying that but it is still the moral thing to do if we truly cared that about all the children in the world then what we would be doing is looking after all the ones that are here before bringing other humans in and allowing the other children to suffer because that is the right thing to do doesn't matter whether it's realistic you can't deny that that is still the right thing to do I can go for your life. You tell me this about recycling this and that or animal welfare, this and that, or throughout uh, climate change. I can find cracks in your armour. No, you, you probably could. You, you probably could. Well, yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, would you give them up? No. Do you know why? why well, it depends, it depends what you, you're asking can me. You, can you be 100% clean 
No, of course we can't. Sake, exactly. Of course we can't. Because it's not possible. But that doesn't so mean, that doesn't no mean... No point that... asking me to step... Te- no, no point asking me, me asking you to do something when it's virtually impossible. No, wait, 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 wait. It is not impossible in any way or form for you to stop supporting horse racing. You can support it at any time. That is not impossible for you no, to do right, on an individual right, level. Right. Is it not? Realistically. The, the question. Realistically. Quite, no, honest question. No, on it, I'm not saying that. Honest question to you as an individual. Are you saying it is impossible for you not to support horse racing? Simple question. Not impossible. Exactly. Exactly. Course, it isn't, it isn't possible. It's not impossible. Is it possible okay. that you will, Is it possible that you could so be so poor and you can't afford... And you might have meat here and there to keep you survive. Would you do it? Oh, sorry, would you I, eat I, meat I, to survive. Would you eat meat to survive? Would you eat meat to survive? Yes. Would you have a vaccine, an, an animal vaccine? Well, would I have an animal vaccine if, or if, if it meant I was going? A, a, a vaccine that is protecting animals to keep you alive with your daughters or, or. Yes. Is that ethical? Um, no, but it's survival, right, which is go. not the situation you're in. You're not going to die. At, in any way or form, if you give up horse racing, I would actually die. Therefore, I would have a valid since, excuse since, in continuing since, my life. Since, since, you are not going to die. Since, since when giving up meat will ask you to stop you, stop you dying? What, what, what do you mean? Well, I said to you, would you eat meat if you couldn't, if, if, if you were so hungry, you had to force to eat meat? Yeah, but if, right. I did, if I didn't eat, then I would die, right? You surprised me asking, yeah? <laughs> no, but you, 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 know, you didn't give me that option. You just said, would you eat meat if you were to survive? As if, if, if I had another option, I'll take the other option. If I don't have an option, though, if I only ha- can have to eat meat, to then of course is, I would do it. Of course I would do it. It's realism. The word realism. Yeah, but exactly. Not it is, it, it, not, not exploitation. No, Matt, you just, you've already shown it. You've already shown it is 100% real and possible for you not to support horse racing. There is nothing stopping you as an individual stopping supporting horse racing. If I Zero. support horse racing, if I spot horse racing and people I'm racing out of business, right, and this and that, the thoroughbred race horse will be extinct. Now, either way, if it's man made or not, they'll be extinct. Yep. And the person who says one death is too many, then contradicts himself, but happy to see horses. It's not die a contradiction. They close, close the race industry down, is my what I call a hypocrite. It's not a co- it's not a contradiction. And and to be honest, it's, no, it isn't, because I'm I'm not stopping horse racing with the intention of those horses dying. That is not that is not the intention. The intention is to stop the exploitation of horses. If horses die, it is the direct result of the fact that that industry existed in the first place, and the sole responsibility comes down of to the people Kosnick who started it and supported it. The only the people no, stop supporting racing. The only people to blame would be the industry right. themselves for so putting horses why, in that situation why, in the first why place. You, why why you support why you campaign to end racing? To change people's opinion, that means when racing goes, it's because of you, you guys, and your animal welfare groups. Well, yeah, but you, that but hold on, but you do realise, hold on, Matt, you do realise, hold on, them. hold on a minute though, you do realise, right, that if horse racing stopped, that people like me and our group would be the first people with our hand in our pocket, raising money to make sure those horses got a good life. Because we care. We would actually be funding those animals as many as humanly possible to make sure that they survive because we care so how are we inconsistent so, 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 so how would you afford that then you've got two horses as well you know, we, you know, we, you know, we, Dr. Horse, what do you mean we, we, we've all got jobs we, we will happily pay put money into a fund in the same way that we fund sanctuaries why, why to look after their animals I, I, I fund certain things exactly right? so, what's, so what's the point people in racing people in racing have their own ex race horses right I said before we have their we have their job gone from from them, okay. and you think in an unrealistic world they'll get another job straight away like that when they run. No, no, no. And all Matt, their Matt, life, Matt, hang, 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 all their life has been with horses, be it thoroughbred or not. Hold on, you're you mi- you're missing big thing. things. You're missing huge things. Your 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 argument is based on the fact that there is going to be all these people that are literally on the poverty line that no, can't no, afford... No, Hold on, no, let me just finish. Again, let me going, finish. Going, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point, right? That, that, is, well, that, that is what the kind of thing I'm getting for you. But what you're failing to think is there will be a large amount of people that will be able to care for the horse, right? The horses that aren't looked after, okay, that, you know, 
In the same way that the government has been supporting businesses during the coronavirus, there could very well be support from the government to make sure these horses are looked after. There will also be the public, people such as myself and other animal lovers, which would quite happily input into trying to make sure these animals uh, are able to continue and have a good life. Do you actually know the situation of horses around the country? I will send you a video from the from the country file, right? Right, okay. They did it up north, right? Okay, the horse in the fields, horses with grown hooves, right? right? People, the sanctuaries are full. Where are you going to get this space from? Where are you going to buy this? How much will it cost? No, but hold on. This is the thing. These How ho- much will it cost? Hold on. Hold on a minute. These horses are somewhere currently being looked after by somebody. Which all they need, all they need is the money to help to fund them, correct? So all we need to do yes. is work out a scheme to help how those people. How much can... will it cost? I don't know. Depend. We do... how many Millions? how many people aren't going to be able to look after their horse? Can you tell me that? How many people aren't going to be able to look after their horse? Well, I, I, I realistically, it's probably probably thirty five forty percent. That you you reckon thirty five to forty percent? If horse racing is given well, say a five year I, advance that it's going to finish, you reckon thirty because, to forty percent of people not, will not be able to fund you're their not horse. You're talking about current race horses. You're talking about ex race horses. The charities that BHA supports will not get right. the money from racing. Yeah, but right? the other the retrain race horses, which is a charity funded by the BHA, will not have right. any money anymore. Right. Right. I was saying 35 percent. I'm not sure, right? It's it, it's a guess, just like your money situation. A guess. Just say yeah, a government exactly. will intervene on horses. The government will not intervene. End of story. But it doesn't no matter. matter. This, this is the thing. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter what government it is, right? And and, and 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 you know, and already charities are full to the brim of all breeds, right? Yeah, maybe. All breeds. So you have to buy land, and land costs a lot of money nowadays. No, they this can't is... just buy land. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Quite... Why would you need land? They have land currently. They have they have homes. When... Yes, but no one's there to look after them. Who's going to fund the land? Who this is this land? is what I mean. This is what I mean, right? If you are given X amount of years to sort this out, you have got say five. 10 years, whatever the government says. Obviously, it's not going to be a year, let me tell you that. If it ever gets phased out, you're going to be given a hell of a lot of notice. And all you need to be able to do is get in a position where one person can care for one horse. And is that easy, is it, yeah? Well, everyone else who owns a horse is one person caring for one horse. So why can't anyone else do it? So there's no... so so. Why can't, why can't they do it? If, they, if you're given five to 10 years notice to look after a horse... You're telling me that's impossible? You're telling me that's actually impossible to do? Well, first things first, Chris, right? It's not a child. You don't get benefits living in a house like a child. This is a horse. Exactly. A, they, they will not get government assistance. Okay. So why... why ca- like, please, 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 well, so they can't get another job. They can't. In 10 years, they couldn't get another job. In five to 10 years. In 10 years. No well, way they could get Chris, another job to Chris, fund a horse. Chris, 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 if you lost your job, yeah. would they... Would livery yard give you five or ten years to find a place to find your horses to? I'd go and get another job. You're saying there's no jobs around? No jobs around, no. Uh, of course there's jobs. Crisis. There's loads of jobs. It's, there's loads of jobs. So you're telling me that, 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 that uh, the massive million uh, million people who are extra un- unemployed at the moment... But hold on. This, uh, this, ain't, this ain't happening now, is it? This ain't happening in 2020. Well, so so that, that's, not, that's not the argument. We're not talking about doing it in the middle of a pandemic. We're talking about. We're, we're, we're talking yeah, no, about. No, 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 no. We're talking about when everything's current, fine. You don't know the current crisis of the economy or or, or what the current. current we state we of don't. The but but, 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 but I'm also realistic, and I know that if the economy was this bad, chances are even if the public wanted to ban it, the government wouldn't allow it because because of that. I'm a realist. I know that is what the case would be. Right. If this would only I mean, happen in a good climate where they knew that other people could get jobs because otherwise it's going to cause more issues. I, I understand that. I understand that. not realistic. So you're not a realist. But it is it's realistic. It's, 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 There's it's no realistic. reason. It's, 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 it's a sport. Like, it is a sport. Jump on, jump, if you think the government are going to jump in and help horse owners, you know, you know um, help fund their horse, put it this way, the left-wing government of Corbyn, did he have any policy in his manifesto to help with the, the massive backlog of horses being bred at the moment, all breeds? What was the policy to help their homes? Yeah, but, but he didn't have policies about a load of other things as well. Like, but he wouldn't do it, would he? He wouldn't do it. He didn't mention anything. Because it's not currently something that's... And he's that's... vegan. 
he's, no, he's not. No, he's not vegan. Vegetarian. No, I don't even know if he's vegetarian. Yeah. He is. Yeah, I think he is. I don't know, he's but vegan. but he's not vegan. Vegan and vegetarian are very different. I, Vegetarians are someone who eats plants. I, th I think he's one or the other. But again, you have to be realistic. The government aren't going to intervene. The the, good. This is good. this is where we're going to disagree. Good. Okay. Good. This this is good. where we're going to disagree because I do think it is realistic. Like there is no reason that over time this cannot be phased out. There is zero reason that it can't be phased out. Will it be phased out in the way that I want to? Maybe not. Will a few horses maybe end up dying before their time? Maybe. I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen at all. Yeah. But ultimately, I want this to end because otherwise it continues forever and horses will continue to get exploited. More horses bred in, more horses put on the track, more horses fall and die, more horses taken to slaughter, more horses that can't find homes, again and again and again and again and again. I'm willing, as much as it's still horrible, and I don't want it to happen, and yes, one is too much, it is the lesser of two evils to finish an industry from exploiting for the rest of time than just phasing it out and maybe a couple don't make it in the same way and right. say in the same way that applies to veganism and what we're trying to do with veganism because you know we want people to stop eating animals but we're very very aware that when it comes to the time not every single animal is going to be sent to a sanctuary and have a great life we understand that we know that cows are probably going to get sent to slaughter still we know that pigs are going to get sent to slaughter chickens are going to get sent to slaughter we don't want that to happen we don't we don't want that to happen whatsoever but ultimately, if it's going to end an ever-running cycle of exploitation, it's still the lesser of two evils. It's exploitation in your head. It's exploitation right. by the definition, by the dictionary definition. These horses, right? Is that your closing statement? No, okay, no, no, no. Hold on. We should probably wrap this up in a second, anyway. But, um, yeah, the, 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 I got work tomorrow. At seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up. But, but the dictionary <laughs> definition is to use uh, the use of something in order to get an advantage from it. You are using a horse in order to get an advantage from the horse. That is but the, I've proved, that is but I've the proven, definition I've of exploitation. You're doing, you're doing the exact same thing. Look, we don't gain anything. We don't gain nothing. No, not get, no you do. We don't. You gain your views. You press your views onto other views. people. What, what do views give us? What do views give us? We don't get anything for views. We don't get paid for views. You get paid for views? No, I mean, it's, it's, people it's, view stuff on it's, Facebook. It's, it's, we don't still, get any money. It doesn't matter, right? I'm what not going to get anything. I'm, I'm not going to come out a millionaire. I'm not going to put all this effort in and come out of a millionaire, no. am I? No. But, um, right, let's just try and close this up because Mrs. is going to kill me in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> I, think Mrs. The I do, I do want to cover your insect uh, argument quickly, though, just when we finish, because you you've have asked me that and I'd like to cover that. But carry on what you're saying anyway. Can you message me on that one? <laughs> oh, I, auntie, I, 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 can, I can do it super fast, super fast, like 30 seconds. Okay, right, sure, right, sure, yeah, yeah. right, sure. Um, we both disagree. It's been a very lively debate, as you can as you can tell. <laughs> well, we're civil. We're civil. A civil debate still, you know. Yeah, civil debate. You know, as I said before, if I come down to New Abbott, I'll be happy to do a live stream with you. Um, yeah, for sure. Come, come and say hi. You've got no problem with that whatsoever. That'd be great. Yeah, um, I'll speak to you. Follow uh, people. Uh, people and leave us out. We'll have a discussion there. Um, yeah. So uh, you know, we'll have a uh, and what I'll do, I'll put this online, and then people can listen and they can make their own opinions on what I've said, what yeah. you've said. It's open to. Yeah, whatever anyone thinks. Open to personal attack, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever anyone thinks. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yeah. As long as, as long as it's not too personal, when if you control it, please. Oh yeah, okay. You, well, well, I'll actively, if you've listened to this, I would yeah. encourage people that if you have an opposing view and you want to give a personal view, that's fine. Personal attacks are not arguments anyway. There's no reason for yeah. them. You know, be be respectful. You know, be respectful for the fact that. Matt has come on and actually had a debate, which a lot of people don't do. So please appreciate the fact that he has at least put his money where his mouth is and hopped on and actually had a chat. And yeah, feel free to debate the topic, but don't don't get personal. There's I, no I reason may, to do that. Yeah, yeah. I maybe I maybe have some questions. Maybe to do a live stream and have some questions brought in, and might, maybe I can get some of my racing mates. To yeah, for ask, sure. Ask you questions. Yeah, for a sure. Bit more, bit yeah, no. more, bit more interaction with more more people. But yeah, Chris, sure. thank you. Chris, can yeah. I say something? Yeah, sure. It's important out there, horse racing people will see this, that vegans aren't bad people. They actually care. Just we do. We do. This views. is the whole reason we do it. Yeah. And I'm because, glad you said that because it's true. We, we, we yeah. really care. We really, yeah. really care about these horses. Yeah. Like, that is why we're doing it. We're not trying to be dicks. 
We're really no, not. No, no, no. We no, want no, these wait, horses. Wait, wait. We, we yeah. just share a different opinion. We can be a civil about it. I, I, I it's good for debate. I actually good for the country because how many times in the last last few years that we've had debate that's gone out of hand and things oh, have happened. All the time. All the time. Anyway, you, we've had hard words with each other. It hasn't been offensive. Hasn't been personal. It's just yeah. been I've told you unlistic. You call me unethical. It's not. A, it's not. It's not. Um, it's not a bad word to be. Yeah, there's a difference called. between passion and aggression. Yeah, and I think that's different. Yeah. yeah. We need to make that right. decision. Off the state now, a few beers. No worries. Well, <laughs> thanks for your time, Matt. I really, really um, Chris, appreciate um, I'll it. Happy to ha- I'll be happy to do this again. Um, yeah, maybe maybe we'll, maybe we'll see you outside of the the race course sometime. <laughs> well, if we do it, you know, we can do it again sometime in the future on here, or, or yeah. even want a quick chat as a personal chat. Whether yeah, if you, could, yeah, yeah, if you have if you have any questions or whatever, or, or you may, or even if you just want to question stuff about just veganism, if you want to understand it a bit more, I'm happy to answer. Give me a good chance. Give me five years to turn me vegan. There you go. I, trust me, I'll, I'll be sending you everything. <laughs> you put yourself in a, in a situation now. All right, have a good night. Take care.